Let's see. I don't know what it sounds like. Why is it still set to 720p? Now the question is, does this actually work? <laughs> Do I need to make another community post? Actually, I probably should always just make community posts anyway. get some new stuff made for the channel man some new graphics and whatnot these graphics are quite old now Okay, um, I think we're all set now. I've set up everything. I think I have some working commands. So I think we can do exclamation mark commands. It should work. Or fucking not. <laughs> I guess it doesn't work. Chat commands. Um, moderator commands. Yeah, this isn't enabled for some reason. Strange. Interesting how that doesn't work. Let me see. Man, variables. What is this? Do? Um. What are we doing? Could be because I just I just set it up, so maybe it doesn't fully work yet. But we'll the wait and see.
currently trying to get everything set up, so bear with me for a hot, hot second. But for some reason, the commands icon doesn't say, uh, or doesn't work. Legitimately lost track for a hot second of what I was about to do. Um, okay. Yeah, I think we're all set now. I think all the commands are set up. Well, they're not working, but we'll figure that out at some point or another. Now, my question is, what do we play? Because I kind of want to do a little bit of everything today, but I don't know if... Um, let me see. I guess we could probably switch off of this. I think we're all set in this department. This is most definitely not the rock playlist I had playing. What the fuck is this? Actually, wait, actually it is. Never mind. question is what do we play first and foremost i kind of want to climb the ladders a little bit with the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh master duel i think we're gonna do three hours on youtube or like three hours on youtube today and then two hours on twitch just kind of want to play around with it a little bit have some fun mess around with settings get everything kind of working and just see how it all's gonna work out I don't really want to say I'm like perma to one particular type of uh, channel, but you know, I want to just or one type like a but I want to just try things out. Tweeted out the stream at every everywhere it'll go. I think we're all set. Yo, what's up, Six? How's it hanging, man? Six, what? I, I forgot. What did you say was more accessible to you? Did you say YouTube was or was Twitch more accessible? comfy i appreciate that man <laughs> i'm trying my best 
I really, really am. I don't know why it's at the 720p. I specifically said it's a 1080, but it said no. We're going to stream at 720p, and you're going to like it. Have you been trying the new event? It's, pre it's pretty, pretty decently sweaty, but it isn't too terrible. Been seeing a lot of people on Reddit complain about it. People have been complaining about it all day. How sweaty it is. How how too competitive it is. Which I mean I get, but at the same time, gotta suck it up and deal with it. All right, let's activate Salomon Great to suck at it. We got everything we need in this hand right now. Okay. Um. There's no real good ad here. Honestly, we might have to add the spinny. Yeah, we don't have a choice but to add the spinny, actually. Yeah. You have a little something for you? What you got? The hell is that? <laughs> I should probably get Imperm in his hand. If he does, that is gonna suck. Chain Link 1. Chain Link 2. Now what's he gonna activate? I figured it was an imperm. That's fine. That will of Salivant Great's not a bad draw, to be perfectly honest. I mean, we'll go Will. Because we can't use the swipes, can we? If this card is leaked something, you could have one Salivant Great Sanctuary from your deck to your hand. We can't reuse this. Let's summon it here. Yeah, if we go Will. Um. Okay, so yeah, that's a, that effect's not gonna work twice, which sucks. We're just gonna make Deco Talker Heat Soul. Okay, let's activate Heat Soul. Draw a card. That roar is kind of meh. Yo! Oh, what the fuck? Yo, six with the member! Thank you, I appreciate it, man. Welcome to Yo, welcome to the gamers. I appreciate it, man. So wait, what does it look like on your end? And I gotta get a different alert for that too. I don't like the way that one looks. I gotta get a different one for it, man. Thank you for the Thank you for joining the for being the first members. Let's go on the gamer now. Yo, dude, welcome to the gamers, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Six, for joining the gamers. I appreciate it. What the fuck is this? I mean, I'll, I'll take the extra. I'll take the extra 1k. So, what are we playing at here? I suddenly don't trust this anymore. I'm going to negate that. I don't know why. I feel like he's about to troll. Now, if he call buys this, this is very suspect. He was gonna call about it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. After playing games for over 20 years, I have now become a real gamer. Absolutely, man. The only thing that's interesting with the YouTube chat, or the whole YouTube like streaming thing, is like it looks weird in my opinion for, for you from your guys' perspective. Like the chats and stuff look kind of weird. I think for a viewing experience, I don't think it's terrible. It's just interesting. You're at 1080p on your end. Oh, okay, cool. 
For some reason, it wasn't showing up in 1080p when I was like watching the stream myself. I knew it was gonna be Sky Strikers. Uh, this is gonna be fun. Does he have three spells already, dude? Wow. Yep. Chat box is weird, yeah. It is. It's pretty strange. I feel like this will still be more convenient for most people because they won't have to download Twitch. He's gonna summon Phoenix. Interesting. What's he gonna de discard? Mecha. Well, now I don't have a choice but to activate this, so. Hey, what? Can, can Ray do some Okay. I feel like he wasted so many resources for literally nothing. Like, he, he gained nothing out of this. Yeah, this is a pretty, this is a pretty bad ending on his, on his end. He's not gonna have fun here. <laughs> this isn't gonna be, oh, we just drew another imperv too. Yeah, this isn't gonna be fun for him. Okay, let's activate this. No shot, he has another, yeah, I don't think so, buddy. It's about in the same place as Twitch. Okay. Okay, we'll negate that. Okay. Now we can go off. He has nothing. Okay. Now we can actually summon Baylinks because she does not require... He or she, or whatever it is, does not require anything more than just a cyber snow. So you just have to be in default viewing mode? Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Let's activate this now. We could probably go Will? Go hide for the Traptor's card? Same. We're gonna summon this. Yeah, same. They, they look like they're gonna be pretty cool. You looking pretty cool, man. Let's go into Sunlight Wolf. Sunlight Wolf will trigger the Gazelle because we set a Salomon Grave from hand to grave. Let's go ahead and summon our Gazelles. The gazelle effect will activate. We will send our insanely powerful um, spell card, our trap card to the grave. Now we're going to go into another reincarnation link summon. Um. I haven't even read them yet, though, but I've heard they're pretty crazy. Wait, do we have another salad card in Grave? Yeah, we'll activate this. Okay. Now we'll use this effect to add our spell to hand. We'll activate our spell card because we have the ability to. This deck is so fucking crazy, man. Holy moly. Then we're gonna add. Do we normal summon already? We did normal summon. Okay. We're gonna add. I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add Foxy. Doesn't really matter here. Okay. Yeah, we still got we still got plays. Okay, let's activate the effect of uh, Spinny. Um. This deck is insane. We're gonna revive the wolf. Okay. 
Can we OTK here? Because we can make access code talker, no problem. Can we connect with access code talker's effect? We got so much power right now. <laughs> Uh, we don't OTK here, but that's okay. I could have probably. I think I just misplayed slightly. I feel like I could have OTK here. Anything else we can do? I mean, I guess we could technically make Heat Soul, but I don't know why I would do that. Well, we got so much stuff. He literally doesn't have any plays. We have so many plays right now, dude. Holy cow. We've got multiple negates. I don't think so, buddy. I am not letting that pass. Absolutely not. You are not gonna get any searching off. Absolutely not. No, 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 You do not get to play the game of Yu-Gi-Oh. We're gonna be a, we're gonna be a little bit of a head ass right here, and banish the Ray. Get that out of here. Just that insult to injury. <laughs> okay, Maxi. Doesn't really matter here. We're just gonna turn this off and go for game. That was easy. Nice. Nice, nice. <laughs> what are the rewards list for this again? Interesting, it's locked behind a ladder. At least you don't get set back, but... Trap Tricks Rickas? That would be an interesting combination. As a side note, I have no idea how I've managed to portion my gems so well. Yeah, this is definitely one of the more the most try-hard events you've ever had. So is there any different like type of genre of music I should put on? Ooh. This hand is sexy. This is one of the sexiest hands I've ever seen in my life. Oh my god. Yeah, look at that gazelle in hand. Oh, this is perfect. Okay, we're gonna activate this. Yeah. This is the move. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be incredible. I think it's gonna be absolutely fantastic. Actually, yeah, we'll go for the Lady Debug. Okay, now Gazelle could trigger. Hopefully, he does not have motherfucking Nibiru, but he probably does. Because Nibiru is such a great card. We're gonna send a Roar. Did I know this one already? No, I did not. Okay, I was panicking for a second. Activate effect. Trap Tricks Ricka is definitely gonna be one of the builds of all time. I really do wonder how that will go, though. All jokes aside. Okay, let's go. Effecto. Okay, we're gonna activate this phenomenal field spell called Salomon Great Sanctuary. And we're gonna go this, this. Actually, wait. Okay, we can still we can trigger Jack Jaguar right now.
Hmm. Yo, what's up, Buzzo? How you doing, man? Yeah, man, we're actually doing a stream stream for once. Let's go. No, we're doing it like a YouTube stream. I've been doing a couple of these lately, just for the fun of it. But it, I'm, or not even really for the fun of it, for testing purposes. And uh, it's been fun, honestly. Now, if I'm thinking about this correctly, I can summon the Jack Jaguar. We can go into Splash Splash Mage. I'm gonna discard this. Target my Sunlight Wolf. Okay. And then we're going to activate Jack Jaguar, because we have to activate Jack Jaguar first. We're gonna shuffle back the Sunlight Wolf and Grave. Summon it here. Activate the effect of Sunlight Wolf to add our Gazelle from Grave to Hand. Okay. Now... We're gonna activate the effect of Spinny. Next we're gonna go... Splash Mage. We actually don't even need to get rid... Wait. Let me double check. What, what does Splash Mage's effect say again? Yeah, okay. We're fine here. Okay, Splash Mage, Splash Mage Effect. Practice is always good. Yeah, it's just fun trying out, um, you know, different live streaming platforms and whatnot. And then we can go into Eco Talker Heat Soul. Okay. We'll activate Heat Soul Effect to draw a free card. That's not the card we would probably want to see. So that's okay. So we've got an Omni Gate, we've got protection, we've got more protection with uh, Bay Lynx and Grave. I think we're okay here. Yeah, no hand traps, no imperm activations, no triggers for any of it. Of course, he's playing Salamon Grates too. <laughs> I'm gonna activate my Heat Soul and draw another card while we're at it. That's fine. Oh! Oh, we draw the Max C! Oh my god, that's disgusting. Now we're gonna activate Maxi. Top deck the Max of C. That probably is gonna be straight up GG right there. But yeah, man. I'm gonna do a couple of different things between Twitch and YouTube that are gonna be different. Like here, we're probably most gonna play Star Wars content and single player stuff. And then on Twitch, we're probably gonna stick to more of the Call of Duty stuff, I think. We're gonna just try playing around with both. Um, and just, you know, having some variety. Having a little bit of variety, man. Also, I'm glad you like the playlist, by the way. Okay. He's gonna pitch a Jack Jaguar. We don't want to negate that. Okay, he's gonna go for a Flame Buffalo. Actually, we're going to want to negate that Flame Buffalo. He's got to be real careful here. <laughs> this dude is so scary. Do you think it's Free Fallen Order Survivor? Yeah. Oh, yeah. When does it release? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so he's not going to go for that line. That's funny. He is very scared of the Maxi, which is activated. All right, so he does have Sanctuary in hand. Am I not allowed to respond to that? How am I not allowed to respond to that? He's gonna discard two, draw two. That's fine. But I don't think he can do anything though. I don't understand how I'm not even, like, chain link for this. Oh, is it because I'm using a counter trap card? You can't activate anything in response to a counter trap card. That makes sense. 
That's because it's a fucking. That's because Salvin Great Roar is a counter trap card. The whole spell speed four thing. I think he's just gonna surrender. That's a grave now. We can still get another one though. I think he's gonna surrender. I don't, I don't think he knows what he has, what he can do at this point. Because if he, if he tries it, yeah, he's gonna surrender. <laughs> Easy wins. He, he doesn't have, any, he doesn't have any options at that point. Feels bad. Fifty gems. Okay, let's grab all this stuff. We're making progress. Yeah, we're almost done with the reward. Are we? Yeah, we're almost done with the rewards already. <laughs> if somebody can tell me when Fallen Order Survivor releases, please let me know. Your favorite music artist? Or do we, are we talking specifically like a genre or just in general? If I had to pick like my favorite musician of all time, it would probably be Logic. Logic the Rapper. It would absolutely probably be Logic. He is easily my favorite rapper of all time, or just my favorite musician of all time. Okay, out of any rapper, all right, this deck is going to be trolly. I already can tell just by the fact that he's got a lack of cards in his hand. I, I don't like it already, or in his extra deck. Um going to pitch Spinny. No, Ash. Honestly, this is not bad. We could actually go crazy. Um, but yeah, it would definitely be Logic. Logic is my favorite fucking rapper of all time. Musician of all time. Logic is my favorite musician and rapper of all time. And then Wiz Khalifa is like my top second favorite rapper of all time. I'm still trying to get into the rock genres a little bit more, though, so I can't really say too much about those genres yet. And I'm a little ignorant. Let's pitch this. We'll actually activate the Falco now. Use it to set our roar so we don't have to actually use any of the other effects to do it. And we have a spinning engrave. Yeah, this is actually not a great hand. That's unfortunate. If Falco allowed you to activate the counter trap on the same turn, that was so incredible. Okay, now what can we do here? Cause of Mississippi. Um, can we do anything here? We actually don't get too many options in this situation. We'll activate the one spinny from Grave to special summon itself here, I guess. And we'll add back, I guess, Zell. What about you, Buzzle? Who's your favorite music or artist of all time? Hmm. Yeah, this is a pretty weak board. We got follow up play, but I, I don't like this board. We don't really have too many things we could do here. I could have went Transco Talker. And just. Oh, I should have went Transco Talker. I don't know what I was thinking. What? What is this? Yes? I mean, I don't fucking know what this is. What am I, what, what is this? What, what, what is, what is this? I, I don't know, I don't... Is that gonna be the end of his turn? Normal summon a jellyfish pass? I guess he got my negate out, but I, I don't know what I would negate in this case. He's playing a water deck, I'm playing a fire deck. This is gonna be fun. Kaiju. I hate kaijus, dude. 
Gotta be some of the most asinine Yu-Gi-Oh cards that have ever existed in this realm of existence. Let's send... Jack. The Notorious Big is my favorite artist of all time. More in an old school rap. That's fair. That's fair. No, no, no. That's a great selection. Now, that's a completely and utterly extendable selection right there. I'm scared to see what he has back here, man. Let's try some shenanigans here. We're going to add this back to hand. He has nothing in response to me summoning a bunch of shit. Okay. He has release late 2023. Okay, so next year. Okay. Hey, and by the way, if you have a song you want me to play, feel free to ask me to put it on. I'll throw it in the uh, queue. I'm not really too worried about the copyright stuff that happens with the YouTube stream too much. Okay, so all of this stuff requires you, me, to be on the field. <laughs> this is an interesting deck, to say the least. He's got two Link monsters. I don't know how he's climbed to silver with this. He's genuinely had to have had some crazy luck. Actually, I think we'll just get this song, though. That's a little, that's a little too much. I don't give a fuck, the band said calmly. I am going to put on this song. I actually like this song a lot. Big L? No, nah, but it sounds like I'm going to take an L if I listen to Big L, huh? <laughs> I guess I, yeah, all right. Yeah, let's, let's avoid the Big L. What is he? If it's old school rap, we probably got to avoid it because they did not give a fuck back in the day. <laughs> probably wouldn't bother me, but... If it's something that YouTube's gonna hate, then yeah. I don't know what their rules are. Okay, so we can stream in 1080p. It's funny you can stream perfectly in 1080p on YouTube, but Twitch is just like, hey, we're gonna throttle the ever-living fuck out of your network. What is this? Dude, why is there play, play, playing Umi Control? What is this? YouTube is a higher bit rate. That makes sense. I honestly like the overall usage of it. Though. Like the the bots. What the fuck is this? Okay. <laughs> what did he even add to hand? He added the jellyfish. Right. Right. It's like a circle. The one thing I do like about Salomon Grade is not everybody can pilot it. I don't know why the fuck he thought that was a great idea to do. I I genuinely am actively confused as to why he thought that was a good idea. Uh, I got plenty more cards than that's coming for, brother. Let's discard this. Ooh. I hate to tell you, buddy. You jumped the gun with that activation. I love this song so much. Gravity is pulling me. All right, now we can go full combo. He's dead. <laughs> Does this do anything? Uh, at the start of the map, okay, we can destroy that. That was easy. I don't think this does anything else. Chain link one, chain link two. See, like, what I like about Salomon Great though is, not everybody can pilot this deck. It's not a like a brain dead deck. It takes skill to to actually micromanage this deck properly. If you just go fucking crazy with it, you're gonna suck like 99% of the time. 
It's a suck or get sucked world out here. And I choose to get sucked. Because this clearly is not going to work for these people. Uh, can I OTK with this? If I get Jack on the field... I got Ash, and his deck, his deck seems pretty fragile, so... Let's go into the shenanigans. It is true that YouTube has a higher bit rate than I think that honestly it's gonna be so nice. I gotta learn how to do like all the clipping and stuff though with YouTube. I don't even know how to do that properly. Uh, we'll add this. We'll add this all back to hand. Okay. No! What the hell? Okay, let's add this back to hand. Okay. I'm gonna do linked. I'm gonna. I'm gonna summon that with uh, this. I don't feel comfortable doing that. What I was about to do. Oh, we didn't even get to activate debug last time. I think our effects negated though. Fuck, that'd be so cool if we could actually activate our effect. Let's go this. Let's, um... Actually, yeah, we can win here. No, because he'll only be... Okay, if we summon Axis Code Talker, he'll go up to 43. This will make him... Okay, this is fine. That's what I've been thinking too. I, you're not, trust me, I've been thinking the exact same fucking thing, brother. Or something like this. Okay, he's in the screen. Yeah, man, we're not fucking around today. I don't know why people are upset that this event is sweaty. Like, I'm not playing around. I just want to win. I'm not here to make friends. This is Yu-Gi-Oh, motherfucker. I'm here to shit on you. And I can tell you right now, this deck isn't going to cut it. I mean, obviously, have fun with what you can, but... My only problem, my only concern slightly with leaving Twitch is I have a decent number of subscribers over there, so it's like I'm a little hesitant, and I started streaming a lot of uh, Fallout over there. I guess I can't just... I got a lot of viewers when I was streaming Fallout for a little bit. I guess I can't just base my um, decisions off of a few good things that happen. I don't know. Let's see what he decides to do. I don't know what this deck does. Yeah, it, it's such a it's such a bizarre area, you know. I have no idea what this Marinsis deck does. Okay, Marinsis Blue Slug. If this guy's looks like we can talk about Marinsis added to your hand, also you can answer some except for water monsters. That seems like a good negate. Being your own boss is not easy. True. So true. <laughs> what does this do? That's fine. Okay. Pretty certain, what does this one do?
I feel like I did definitely slow a play down here. Okay. Yeah, but be, yeah, like you said, man, being your own boss is it's it's not easy. It's not fun. <laughs> I mean, it kind of is. Like, there's a fun elements to it. Uh, um, but you know, it's tough. Okay. Okay. Where are we going with this deck? Yep, yep, that is always going to be a perk. Okay, another Link Summon. And it's a Sea Angel. I'm just going to respectfully Ash that because you getting any of your cards out of the deck sounds like no fun. There are no right answers to trial and error. Exactly. Just gotta have fun with it. Just try new things, make mistakes, fuck up, repeat. You know, just keep trying. Oh! Yes! Yes! It's sex! Okay, we're gonna activate sign in mining. Discard the spinny. Then we're gonna add gazelle. Special summon gazelle. I mean, you're away. All right, Buzzle, take it easy, man. Have a good evening or night. What's that? What? What time zone do you live in? You don't mind me asking. Yes. Gonna cross up designate that motherfucker. What? Okay. That's fine. That's actually okay. Now the question is... I don't think we actually want to go... I don't think we want to go Sunlight Wolf, because we don't have anything in the grave to actually trigger, or like to use an effect with. So we're going to want to go Splash Mage. This is such a this is gonna be weird. This is gonna be very weird actually. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. Wolf might not have been a terrible idea. We well, don't have any play with it, so whatever. We don't really have a choice.
Uh, we don't have a choice here. Fuck, man. We might, we're probably gonna lose this, actually. Because if he's got a Marincess in hand, then we're, we're fucked. Now, I'm not entirely too worried, because he doesn't have too much else. But... I should have... Maybe I should have reincarnated. I don't know. He didn't have enough hand. Okay. That's gone. That's good. Well, we live another turn. We're just gonna six seven. All right, so this does nothing. This is absolutely fucking nothing, which is what we like. This has you can banish this. Okay, we're gonna activate this now. Okay. We're gonna have to bail into grave to keep the sanctuary alive, so they basically just wasted that harpies. And it looks like a lot of these only can be linked somebody using level four monsters. So that's fucking incredible. That's incredible. What a draw. Alright, well he does he needs level four or lower more instances to activate shit. Okay, he's gonna get the blue slug. He can target one princess in his graveyard, add it to his hand. And then this is gonna trigger. This deck is just Salomon Grace, but water. It's literally just water Salomon Grace. I think we're chalked, honestly. like fighting meta decks because I know they do. I don't think it's a bad thing to learn how other decks function. I just don't enjoy it. <laughs> that sounds so stupid. Um, okay. That sounds extremely, I want to say egotistical, but I don't know. I don't enjoy fighting these, these monstrosities. I don't know what the fuck they do. They're all new. Okay, what does what is what does any of this do? Oh, is he is he gonna be able to activate that for free? Wow, that's kind of shitty. Come on, come on, get it out the way, man. Do what you gotta do. And you gotta activate this trap card for man. That's actually kind of insane. What? Huh? That's an incredible draw. I mean... My brother in Christ. That's wrong. Bro, come on, man. What? Oh, 
He just gave four attack. Is shit. These these do nothing. No, don't proceed to the battle phase. What the fuck? Okay. Let's uh what can we even do here, honestly? Is the real question. If we have Foxy, we're playing with a gamble. Let's just do this. Let's just do what we're gonna do. Let's get our counter trap and grave. Do we not have a Jack and Grave already? Hmm. I don't know, man. What do we do here? Our Grave is pretty bad. Because we've already used Flash Mage. We gotta go with the Jack. I think that's the right call. I need to get this off the field. As crazy as that is, I legitimately need to get that off the field. Ah, oh, fuck. This is so scuffed. This is actually extremely scuffed. Okay. I feel about any of this, man. Yeah, we got Bailings and Grave to do some protection. She gets to draw a fucking card every turn by banishing a water monster. The things in Grave do nothing currently except for this one. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, this is a little too much. Holy cow. I need something a little bit less, like, in my ear like that. A little bit of a lighter beat. Actually, we're going to just play for my normal playlist. He's going to activate that effect. Aqua Spirit. I wish you could see your opponent's timer. So, Marinses are actually pretty solid, though. This is going to be a hard, one hell of an OTK. I am no longer going to defend this. We are going to activate this, get Gazelle in hand, let him crash into us. Um, 
If I, if I use this, he'll just reset my life points. That's fine. I might have just killed myself. Wait, what? I can't. What? What? Why couldn't I activate? Why couldn't I activate Gazelle? What did I just miss? Twitch really is a dying platform, isn't it? Honestly, the, the crazy thing to me is Marissa's don't really have any real protection outside of their field spell. They just can do a whole lot. They can do a whole lot on their turn. Like an obsessive amount of stuff they can do on their turn. This is this is a hand. Jesus. This is not gonna be able to play the game. He's got a diamond barrier uh, border, so I expect him to be pretty solid. Is he playing? He's playing Orcus. I'm gonna negate this now. That's the only thing he can be playing when he's playing Scrap Recycler. It's gotta be Orcus. That might be a bit of an early imperm, but I think we'll be okay. We've still got Maxi, I've got Ash. I'm gonna try to bait out the Ash. I wanna use my Ash first before my Maxi. You're gonna build a 3.5k PC? Holy oh, shit. Let's activate this now. Let's see what he does. You're gonna ash it? Nice. That's actually a pretty socially acceptable decision right there, my friend. Uh, let's activate this. Let's activate Foolish. Damn, 3.5. Six, what do you do for a living? Am not explaining that to me, sir? If I sing Gazelle, let me think. I can get Baylings on the field, I can get the Sanctuary in hand. If I reincarnation link summon Baylings. I still don't have a way to summon this though without losing the ability. Cause something like Wolf stops you from using that monster's effect or you can't normal summon it. So there'd be no point in getting a Zell engrave, because we wouldn't be able to get him back to the field. No, just in spinning. He's got imperm. Fuck, that's gonna suck. Still, man. Fuck, that's insane. He's 100% gonna imperm. He's gonna hit me with it right now. No? Okay. Okay. What could he possibly have in Grave? They're on field. Let's activate this. That's still insane. What kind of uh, what kind of build are you going for? GPU and everything. Like, what are you going for? Honestly, I wouldn't mind going for Heat Soul after this. Is he gonna imperm now? 
If you burn now, that'd be crazy. I mean, we could do this now. Still sitting here with a 1660 Ti. There we go. I was waiting on him to do it. That's wrong. How oh, fucking time he activated this damn card? Jesus. Now I can actually do my plays, dude. Because it doesn't really, it honestly doesn't really matter if he um, negates that. Summon this here. I just negate it. Um. We get nothing for something that. Let's go splash, mate. Jesus. You have a Series X too? What the fuck? Can I have some of your income? Hashtag not an ad. Can I have some of the income, Copium? I'm, uh, you know. In all seriousness, if that's nuts, you've got that shit. Like, holy cow. I don't think we're gonna make Axis Co Talker here. I don't see a point. I don't see an absolute point in doing that. No, for fuck's sake, I'm trying to go to the bad place. I just don't see a point in doing Axis Co. We can go Heat Soul for no reason. Let's go battle this. So, now we do go heat soul here. I don't really think it's worth it. You can't be targeted by card effects. That's insane, man. Honestly, is that what having a job does for you? Just have money. Is that the benefits of working? Maybe, maybe I should quit this whole content idea. Well, the waste of his normal summons, so we're gonna ash it. <laughs> you saved it for a long time, makes sense. No shenanigans for you, sir. He passed turn after losing the scrap rap or the scrapper site. Yeah, there you guys. I've got two untargetable monsters, and he just lost his only search. Dude, I'm about to play my actual playlist. This shit is too much. There we go. Some some lighter beats. Yep, I knew he was playing Orcus. We need to, they need to have Galatea back in this, back to like two. That deck is not good enough to add it at its current state. I'm gonna copy this deck. What did he call it? That's fair. That's fair. Yeah, because you can just do things at your own pace. I completely respect that, man. You can do things at your own pace, you can have fun, do other life things. You don't wanna know. Actually, we can, we can make a bitch on this deck. Let's go ahead and crab. I was kind of digging this deck. He was shitting on me with it. Damn, this deck is very economically affordable. What the hell? Now, I built like 80% of the deck already. This deck is, it seems very heavy on the OTK and capabilities though. That's for sure. 
There's generally two of these, I guess. I think we get a free pull. If you don't wanna know. Yeah, you're gonna you're just gonna have to get a new case overall, aren't you? That shit looks crazy, especially if you're trying to get the the bigger GPUs. It looks nuts. Wait, does this guy's deck play any of this stuff? Alright, his I'm gonna trust this guy's build because it looks pretty competitive, honestly. Marinsa's blue tang. How do you or how to obtain? Looks like we gotta go here. Got two ultra rares from Trickstar Reincarnation. Okay. Oh, okay, we're all set. Holy mother of ultra rares. We pulled some ultra we pulled a lot of ultra rares. I want to rebuild my PC so bad, but there's so many things I need more than that right now. Let's see. I'm gonna learn how to play Marincess, apparently. We actually didn't pull a lot of what we needed, though. We might have to do one more dive into those packs. Because it'll be fun. Oh, wait. No, we have stuff we can dismantle here. We can dismantle this, too. This. Orca's Crescendo. We pulled that? What the fuck? I like how all the other, like the other versions of Cyber's decks are more powerful than the actual main character's Cyber's deck. Let's see. We're not, we're not gonna play any Yeet music today. I certainly don't want to play regular code talkers anymore. God, I wish you could break down all the super rares from the other decks so badly, man. I would be swimming in, in the points if I could break down them. What can you do, man? Why did I just do that? I meant to craft one. Actually, I don't think I could craft it one if I wanted to. Actually, yeah, I could have. Fuck, dude. Why did I just do that? That was a mistake. I wish you could, like, wait. How many missions did I complete that go around? Okay, I think we can buy another 10 packs. Are we really two gems short? Oh, we could just watch a live duel. Oh, man, oh, man. Another waifu deck, though? We've got so many. Black Luster Soldier, Toon Black Luster Soldier. That's one of the cards of all time. 
Jay, your Bro, you've got like 30 different waifu decks to pick from. Let's be real here. There are so many waifu decks at Yu-Gi-Oh! now. I was, is that, is there, it's funny you're mentioning this, though, because I, I genuinely was just thinking the other day. Like, dude. I, I, genuinely, I, I don't mind the waifus, but fuck, man. We need more than just waifu decks now. What happened to the monster cards? I'm so disappointed in myself for breaking that card down. Man, man, inspired architect would be cool. It would be. I mean, like inspired by the characters in the anime or by the decks themselves. So I was gonna say we got quite a few anime-inspired uh, decks. Well, this means I can put more cards towards my uh, Sky Strikers. I was rebuilding these. We can get chicken. Are Sky Strikers limited at all for this event? Kigari, no, Sky Strikers are this game's version of full power. Holy smokes. Ah, uh, I doubt they'll ever do that. Kodami's very picky about that kind of stuff. It would be cool, I suppose, but yeah. I wonder if it'd be kind of cringe, though. I feel like it'd be cool, but kind of cringe, but cool at the same time. doing a fun little YouTube video where I have everybody sitting in their PC setups. Like pictures of them. Oh, he let me go first. What the fuck? Uh, sure. You're bad at next list. I don't want to fight Maxi. You can have this duel, bro. I don't want to fight Maxi. Maxi is not a fun card to play against. I lose nothing by, by quitting a duel in this in this event, so I just don't feel like playing Maxi control. What deck did he run? I don't fucking know. I, the, the, it's just the moment he popped Maxi. I don't want to play anymore at that point. I don't. I don't want. He's gonna win anyway at that point because his deck requires way too much of special summoning. So I don't know. Whatever he had, he can have it. Okay, he's got Maxi in hand. Master Duel after the OCG? I don't want to play OCG's format. I'm okay on that one. He's got Maxi. He probably doesn't think I have Call by because I didn't negate us. Is he not gonna? Bro, you've got Maxi. Stop it with the bullshit, man. Just activate Maxi. Come on, activate it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it! There you go. You can never lose at Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. 
No. Because with this game follows the, the OCG's ban list, kinda. They've got triple maxi and all that shit. Honestly, there's just there's a bunch of cards on both lists that need to be kind of neutered. OCGs can be enjoyable, depending on what you consider enjoyment. I actually have no way to get this Jack Jack out of my hand. The more I look at it. We can actually do a lot of shit right here. Hold on, wait a minute. We got the plays. We don't even need to use our Splash Mage, which is going to be kind of cracked. Yeah, no, OCG is alright. It isn't the world's best, though, in my opinion. Because, like, we're, we're already legitimately playing OCG format. We're running two Transco Talkers now, too, so we can actually use one this turn. We'll have the Gazelle back. Okay, we're going to go into a Transco Talker. There's no point in making Splash Mage here. That's not bad. They're untargetable. No question is, what does he have in response? Harpies. Um. That's fine. He still gets rid of the trap, though, but that's okay. We don't lose our field spell. Okay. you got in response is that it's probably an imperm right no it couldn't be brother I don't give a fuck if you max see me at this point in the game my guy what are you doing man I mean, what is this? Is this game? No, this is a game. No shot, he actually drew something else, right? Uh. Does it matter what we send here? Hypothetically. I mean. If it's an imperm? Oh no, wait. Yeah, he can't imperm. He can't target these cards. I mean, this is just game right here. <laughs> I can just win the duel here. I'm just gonna do that. I'm just, I'm just gonna win right here. No, I don't win right here. Holy shit, I actually don't. Yeah, I do. What am I talking about? Wow, what a clutch card that is. Interesting.
Do we have Ash? Honestly, I'm just gonna pass her. I don't, he, he's literally only used meta cards. I, I don't really think he has anything else he can use at this point. Because if he didn't use it last turn, after all that setup I did, I, don't, I doubt he's gonna use it now. Yeah. <laughs> There's no point in giving him more draw cards. Like, we, we damn near killed him right there. What was he even playing? I just played Ancient Warriors. This dude drew, like, double Ash. What is that link card? Is that a rabbit with a horn? Oh, uh, Selma Gray, All Mirage. Yeah, you're, you're thinking of All Mirage. You're thinking of this one. Yep, yeah, it's a Salomon Great car. But it's not really good with Salomon Greats. Because his requirements require you to have a normal summon monster with 1,000 or less attack. And the only one with that is Foxy, I guess? And, I mean, if you want to, you can normal summon Spinny, but I, I just don't think it's a necessity. I feel like there's just so many better control cards you can use. Like, it's an, it's an okay card, but I don't think it's... It's, it's unironically not that great for Salomon Great. <laughs> When did they ban this? Oh no, this is for the event. Dude, I was about to dismantle this card without even thinking about it. Yeah, I would say it's a control deck. Because they run an obscene number of hand traps for one. Two, they uh they run an obscene number of hand traps. They have a counter trap that can that's a literal omni negate, and then they have like two, they have a spell card that can protect things from um, monster effects. It's un it makes a Salmon Great Link unaffected by monster effects. And then Bay Links can save him from, from can save multiple Salomon Great cards from being destroyed all at once. And then I mean Deco Talker Heat Soul lets you draw a card every turn for free. <laughs> you pay a thousand life points to draw a card. And if it's two thousand or less, you can banish it from the field and get a free link summon. Which is just fucking which is crazy, honestly. I wish it said they they were, the cards were treated as a link summon, but it's kinda nuts, man. You, when I say draw a card literally every turn, it's a quick effect. You could draw a card on both turns. But yeah, I mean, like, the deck hard is... It's very hard to brick with Salomon Greats. You have to draw literally, like, Ash, Ash, Imperm, Imperm. And then, like, the Counter Trap card, and then, then you've bricked. <laughs> a lot of people run the, uh, the uh, Pot of Desires. I do not like that card in any game of Yu-Gi-Oh! I have never liked Pot of Desires. The yeah, South is an extremely control heavy deck. Thinking about hopping on um, some Star Wars stuff in a bit. Man, we're almost done with these already. 19 more duels left. I don't know if we'll do 19 more though. How close are we to finishing this? I kind of wish the dual pass was a smidge better. I feel like there's not enough in it, like, for the upper half. You know, like, once you get to the 50-point mark, it just gives you half the rewards again for some reason. I can update this at least now. Why is this favorite? Oh, um, I think there are any staple cars that I'm missing in here. 
It's kind of funny, I could just run a deck like this. This deck was so stupid during the Z, like the, the synchro event. This, uh, this, 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 this hellhole of a deck, the sword soul deck, this thing was, this deck was nuts. I was thinking about going to get a new box of the new set tomorrow. Um, because my plans for, to, for downtown for the weekend just got canceled. Wait a minute. Hold on. Actually, I actually need to reply to somebody. So I might be able to get up and go get it tomorrow. My local said that they're probably going to be gone by one. So we're going to try to get there quickly. And um, yeah. Also, I have a new button now for the donation thing. I don't know if I wanted people to do the super chat thing. Because that goes to like the monthly thing. And I don't know how long that's supposed to take. Also, what are the meta cards of this? So we, or what are the favorite cards? We gotta get a we gotta get a water protector. Let's get let's set this this. I kinda like this one more. Let's change this. So we'll do this. This this I guess. Honestly, what's the new set called? Darkwing Blast. Got a lot of nutty cards in it, man. A lot of uh, new, let me see. It's got all the new Bistol cards. But these pre-sales are fucking crazy, man. Like, Starlight's... Starlight Cartesia is almost a $600 card. The Bistol Lubelion is almost a $70 card. This this entire pack is another god-tier pack like Power of the Elements was. There's so many good fucking cards in here. The new uh, Draco Slayers are very expensive. They're all secret. Well, one of them is a secret, which sucks. I might honestly end up buying the core of this. Oh, I need to release my video on Tactical Masters. Let me go do that. Let me go schedule that for tomorrow. The Drake, the Draco Slayer cards are... <laughs> well, okay, one's a secret. The rest are ultras, and I think Super's past that point. Blackwing cards are in here, too, by the way. There's a, a hell of a lot of new Blackwing cards. To be perfectly honest, wait, I actually might buy the Blackwing core. Where's House of Champs at? Um, isn't it tier zero games? I let you like do pre purchases of everything. What's that one site that lets you do that? This one. Or is it Yu-Gi-Oh! Daily? I think it's Yu-Gi-Oh! Daily. Yeah. Oh, they only they only they only sell singles? What the fuck? That's an interesting sales pitch. Gamer's choice. Gamer's choice. That's the name of it. I'm gonna buy this. Pull up us in a location. Because if the pre-sales were telling me anything, Sudri, the Phantom Glimmer, is this the car? Let me see. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna buy this, honestly. I just don't see a point in not buying it. I, I'd be a literal dumbass to to pay everything I need or want for those singles. I really want to build a new Blackwing card or Blackwing deck, but I, the pre sales for the individual cards are stupid. They are just literally dumb. Okay. Let's, um. I think we're going to switch over to some Star Wars related stuff for a little bit. The pistol deck course sold out. What the fuck? Actually, it is cheaper to just buy it off of here. Oh yeah, the ca the Cash Tira decks are here too. This deck is asinine because the entire point of this deck is to just remove like, your extra deck, your opponent's extra deck for free. Like, it's such an insane deck. These all sold out. What the fuck? That's insane. A Blackwing Dragon Starlight Rare is kind of cool. Don't ask you. Back in your mind. You don't want to know. Also, it's got this new quick play spell card. All face of monsters your opponent currently controls cannot be tributed or uses material for a fusion summon to synchro summon exceed or link summon to the end of this turn. That's fucking crazy. That's an insane card. I, I don't know how broken it'll be, but goddamn, that's a pretty pretty strong card. Actually, how much is it to, to bot? They're sold out here already. This, this site doesn't keep a lot of stuff, which sucks. What even comes in this? New Amazonist cards, new black wings everywhere. All right, I think we're gonna switch over to some Star Wars stuff in a minute. Uh, I'm gonna grab water really quick. But these duels are fun. I think when it hits eight o'clock, I might switch over to Twitch. As weird as it sounds. We're going to switch back to the FTL playlist, I think. Is this it? Actually, I probably could copyright strike for this one. Oh, uh, sci-fi lo-fi. Actually, yeah, that's pretty nice. I like that. Your stream may be temporarily blocked because of copyrighted music. Interesting. What is that lol? The dying platform, am I right? Alright. I like how you don't even really have to change your games either. I'm gonna play a little bit of some of this. Oh shit, I should have um I should have downloaded the uh 
Thrones Ascendancy mod. They haven't updated this in a long time. I don't think they're gonna update it anytime soon. The game was like, or the, the the YouTube was like, hey, we detect we detect audio. Actually, you know what would be fun, kind of fun? We should probably we should play Lego Star Wars one day. I've been saying that for a while, but um, I think that'd be pretty fun. Let me go grab some water, and um, I'm gonna grab some water really quick. This is some sad sounding music. Show me the one whose safety deems such destruction. Right, actually, I don't like this playlist. I don't like that. I'm not a big fan of this. Yeah, we'll just leave this on. I was not feeling that music. I just realized all my lamps aren't on either. I thought my office felt a little dark. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay. Oh, 
let's do the shenanigans for a little bit. Actually, I don't really know if we're going to switch to Twitch tonight. We'll see. Oh, man. We are back with the shenanigans. Actually, wait. This is a little too epic, too. Fuck, man. The FTL playlist is just too good. I'm just going to go with this. Yeah, I like this playlist so much more, actually. Turn this down a little bit. We're gonna play this for like probably like 30 minutes and then we're gonna um, switch up to something else too. We're gonna probably play um, the Clone Wars sub mod. I just wanna just catch up on conquering these backwater territories a little bit. Oh, I forgot they actually kicked my ass back here. Yeah, we're gonna send these guys. Actually, no, no, no. We're going to be responsible. Beginning construction. Enlisting. Constructing unit. Building under construction. We're going to be completely responsible and start funding our actual, like, like, outer rim territory, like, campaigns. Recruiting troops. Actually, we're just going to start funding our campaigns in general. Let's do all that stuff. Got a bunch of new troops coming in for over here. What? Oh. Okay. Well, we do have the bulk of the Imperial fleet just kind of cornered up here at Eddie, which is pretty nice. Let's go. We've taken over all the territories back here, which is really good. Building under construction. Constructing. Constructing. Construction complete. I wish we had some orbital stations that I like Beginning buffed our income a little bit. That'd be pretty dope. Unit in production. Um. Training. Just gonna put a few tier two infantry here. Building One of these. Actually, yeah, one of these. That's why. And then let's um, do we have any other level one bases anywhere? I guess no. Oh well, we technically have this in a way, but I don't think we can build it anymore. Let's build this. Yeah, let's just turn this into a mining world, I guess. Build one of these here. Yeah, let's start taking care of our territories a little bit. Put one of these here. And then we could also put a Republic base, but it doesn't really spawn anything significant. And uh, just turbo laser towers, I guess. This is done, which is phenomenal. And then these are actually producing at a pretty high rate. I forgot, how many losses did we take? We took quite a few, if I recall. Construction complete. Let's all 
I just I was double checking to make sure I was set to the right overlay. I panicked for like a nanosecond, had a mini heart attack. Now we could send the bulk of the Republic fleet down here. Get sheets so we can start campaigning against the Huts. Let's send these troops up here. Okay, they have there. These guys are literally no threat to us right now. Let's go ahead and build this planet up a little bit. Okay, get a few of the best Republic troops we can get up there. Things are building relatively fast here. And then with this facility here, we should be able to build even faster. Okay, let's send these guys over here. The fleet up here is almost done building. Okay, let's send these other extra troops down here. Nebulon B, where am I building the ne uh, Nebulon Bs at? Was that here? That was here. Okay, I was about to say, where the hell am I building a Nebulon B at? Let's move a bunch of stuff out of the way here. Ooh, actually, wait. If it crashes, that's okay. Let me go put in the Discord that we're doing an ALTR stream. Copy link. Okay. Troops are the troops are a building. Construction complete. Okay. Construction complete. It's gonna move everything over. I don't know why I hate when they shift like positions. Like when the structures move positions and stuff. You guys are crazy. And then I guess we could build... How many structures can we have here? Two? Constructing. We'll put two of these here for the hell of it. Then we can... I, I I hate that we really... Well, I guess it doesn't really matter because with the Republic base, we can build all the types of infantry now. So I guess it doesn't really matter. Let's build a turbo laser tower. I think our fighter stores are pretty okay. It could be better. We need more E-wings in this fleet. 100%. Constructing. Then let's um Beginning put three, two of these here, two of these here. Our income is so stacked now, like it doesn't really matter anymore. We don't have any more population stations, which legitimately sucks though. Beginning we'll make it easier to train troops here, or faster rather. Construction complete. Reporting. Okay. Construction complete. Reporting. And some more troops of the campaign way. down here. In route. Yes, Let's move these troops over. Order Construction received. complete. Okay. Let's start moving all these things down here. Destination acquired. Construction Get you there. Scares me so much every single time, man. I hate that explosion sound. <laughs> Jeez, Jeez, man. I just feel my heart jump. <laughs> Fucking hate those things, man. Holy cow. Reporting. Squadron reporting. Why can't we build the Soror subcraft ones also? That's kind of annoying. Oh, do we need a fighter yard to actually build this up? Yeah, I guess we could... We can have, what, six structures here? Upgrade Let's dismantle construction. this. Construction complete. Okay, that's where their mandator is. Sold. Noted. Let's send that up here. This fighter squadron, though, this is ground. Well, the Empire, wrong team. Yeah, man, you got the wrong idea, bucko. Got the wrong idea. There's no Imperial presence over here. I should probably remove this corruption. Can he remove corruption? 
Right? Yeah, Rook Russian. Nice. Let's get rid of that. Reporting. How's your day going, Ben? Corruption. How the hell do you build quasars? Am I dumb? Also, this isn't literally a buildable thing, this Aurora subcraft thing. Like, that's literally not a build option. Building started. Which is driving me crazy. Actually, if we put two... If we put two... Upgrade we're going to remove one of these and put a third capital shipyard here. Structure sold. Build we'll have Solus produce our primary capital ships for the time being. Has been removed. Okay, now we should be making all the money we can from that. You've only played Remake? I, I would say, out of the two mods, I think this one is arguably the more, um... I guess you could call it quote-unquote tactical? Oh, so nice. this, this is arguably Space one of the more... Level advanced. New options available. Nice, okay. This is one of the better, um... More of the... One of the more, uh, tech-like heavy... Or, one of the more tactical mods, I guess you could say. This unlocks the Barracuda and the Balthan Assault Frigate. Do they, are these limited? Oh, we can have unlimited Balthan Assault Cruisers. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I want to build the Mediator, but I, I hate the texture. <laughs> it's old. Let's go ahead and put this here. Build one of these. There's no point in us not having all the space stations built up. Um, we'll put this here and then put uh, Capital Shipyard here. And then we'll actually make this a base, because Ormantel is a very important planet. Constructing. Building under construction. Does he love pizza with Nutella? Pizza on nu Nutella with pizza? Huh? Wait, what? Sir, are you okay? Are you being held at gunpoint? Do you need do you need help? Who, who's convincing you to say these heinous things? This Imperial Fleet's getting a little, uh, spicy. Reporting. Let's put an eye cannon here. Under construction. Will do. Is that a, is that a serious statement, man? Are, are you okay? Are, are you okay, man? Who's, who's got the gun to your head right now? Dude, it's, it's kind of crazy. It's such a game that I, I have a love-hate relationship with. On one hand, I hope it continues to get better, but you know, it's an old game, so it's only going to get so. It's only going to be so good, at, you know. Right away. On the other hand, it's also se it's also sort of built my career on YouTube. But then if I deviate away from that, people don't like to watch that stuff, <laughs> which I, I I completely respect people's decisions. But it's like I'm semi scared to play anything else, which I'm gonna have to man up and get over eventually, because you know, that's not how you really grow as a guy who does you know consecration on youtube and stuff that's not how you really, really go, grow if you're afraid um but it definitely it definitely sits in the back of my head it sits in it, it sits in the back of my mind rather quite often let's see tier two base see yeah like like that's how pretty much most people have found the channel Again, which I'm legitimately grateful for. It um, it doesn't negate the fact that it definitely makes me feel a little nervous to try new things a little bit. So it's just like, you know, what's gonna be the response? <sighs> Hello, Larry. What's up, Devang? How are we doing tonight, gentlemen? Like this is this is an unironic but a funny prime example here. <laughs> Play Yu-Gi-Oh! You know, not really a whole lot is happening. Uh, as soon as it switch to Empire War, then the real shit starts happening. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's like a blessing and a curse, but a good curse. Uh, I'll, I'll take this curse over no curse. We got our first Nebula starter for lads. What are we gonna call her? Actually, no, we got our second Nebula starter for her. I got everything set up finally on the channel, though the super chats, the the emotes, the um. If you guys don't know what uh, BTTV is, 
It's an extension that you can install into your Chrome browser, and it'll enable a host of really fun emotes that you don't have to pay for anything. They're just like, it's like with Twitch, you know, like, like the Keck W's and all that kind of stuff, man. Good to have you in here, man. Devang, you've been on the channel quite a bit, too, so I, you know, it's always nice to finally get a chance to interact with you guys. Let's, uh, let's do some new Republic troops. Actually, no, no, no. We've, we've got a good amount of resources going into the, the military, or the, the, the army forces. Let's, um, try to think. Do we want to, what do we want to do here? Iron Cannon is here. These are pretty weak, these stations. I don't really know if they're really worth even investing into. They die relatively quickly. Building this building. one, I feel like, offers some more value. Oh, you can only put one station here. <clears throat> I say give it a try. I feel like you can knock it out quick. Dude, you don't have to apologize for going on about your mod, man. Yeah, the Black Sun rework is going to be fun. We're going to have to finish up that playthrough. I promise you guys, I will complete an Empire War playthrough in a timely manner one day. Honestly, what's funny is I, I don't do too many space battles or ground. That statement is extremely mod dependent, if that makes sense. It, it genuinely just depends on the mod, honestly. Because some mods do ground battle phenomenally, like this mod does. Others are questionable. I like this mod's a remix ground combat. I like this mod because of the tacticalness of it. I like remakes ground combat because of the fucking crazy, 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 crazy battles you can do. Also, we're gonna end up, we're gonna actually just invest more into the army forces. Um, but the scale of the battles you can get in remake are just un, in, like, un, like, in, incomparable. What the hell is this kind of base? They actually have a decent number of things around this region. We might want to be prepared for this. Instructing you. Stockables and local forces. Construction complete. But yeah, it's extremely mod dependent for me personally. Like some mods do ground battles just chef's kiss. Uh, as for the space battles though, like it's yeah, I pretty much like space battles, obviously above everything else. But um. Yeah, the ground combat can be extremely hit or miss. Just it's just super mod dependent. It's just dependent on who's making the mod. That'll determine if I like the ground combat or not. Like I like the space combat. We are gonna do some kind of Fall of the Republic stuff eventually. I know you guys have been asking me to play a little bit of that. I'm gonna cave in and give you guys a little bit of what you want. We'll play a little bit of Fall of the Republic. Maybe not today, but in a future like upcoming stream, we're, we're definitely gonna play Fall of the Republic. We'll play. I don't have a, for the record, I, it's not that I don't have, I don't have anything against Fall of the Republic or like the Thrones of Ninja Mods. I've just played so much of them. I've played so much of both of them, you know, like off stream when I was younger, you know, it's like, I just kind of burnt myself out on them. But that being said, they're still phenomenal mods. And um, I think what it, what it, what also it is, is I've been super obsessed recently with these more tactical kind of mods, like a remake, you know, this mod. I've been obsessed with the tacticalness of these mods. And uh, I feel like the, the Thrawn's mods are a little bit more on the fun aspect. You know, they're not as like micro heavy. My company, man, the company heroes. Yeah, I, I I feel like if if I feel like if ground combat was better in just any iota, it, it's almost immediately more entertaining to play. Let's see. We could build the we could build the disease frigates, the corona frigates. Actually, I think we're gonna I'm gonna build another MC60. All right, chat. Everybody, respond with your favorite ship in Star Wars. What is your favorite ship that you've ever seen in Star Wars? Whether it's a movie, a mod, a game. What would you what would you what what ship can you look at and just be pleased by every time you see it? Let's put a taxation agency here. 
Uh, we have one here. Attack tank has entered the battlefield. Building under construction. Okay, there we go. Yeah, we should be we should absolutely be taxing the core worlds. I don't know why I wasn't already. Building starting started. Tax the poor or tax the rich and tax the poor. We're gonna tax everybody. This ain't a this is this ain't a true democracy. We're taxing everybody. We're gonna put a new republic base here. I think I'm gonna put one of these here. Yeah, we're gonna put one of these here. Taxing everybody, the Kadalbi. I always love B wings and tie interceptors. The aggressors are some of your favorites. Nice, nice, nice. Where are my Y wing lovers at, man? Does nobody love the Y wing but me? Nimbon. How did they get to. Oh, shit. Okay. Empire's making some moves. They just took this entire fleet up here? Wait a minute, Saluka Pie. Yeah, there's no way in hell we're going to be able to survive raiding this planet. Let's see what they're Renvar. Let's just keep tabs on everything that they're doing. Multiple ships here. They just re they just completely took Mimbon, actually. Good to know. Oh, shit. They're oh, th no, that's the Huts. I thought the Empire just went straight to Trezdosha after. I was about to say, holy cow, they're on the move. They're not slowing down. Good lord, this is, this is, that place is, that is one hell of a fortified world. Good god almighty. But we've got our own Star Dreadnought here, so. I think we're going to move these, put this here. Actually, we can still keep these here. We shouldn't have bolt cruisers and stuff, though. we got to start getting rid of some of these older vessels. The Dauntlesses. Y-Wings for sure. <laughs> I peer pressured you guys into saying <laughs> to liking my Y wings. <laughs> yes, yes. Fall for the peer pressure. Let it consume you. Okay, we're gonna start. Um, as soon as we get this last MC60 up, we're gonna make some moves south. Constructing. Can't really put a whole lot of expensive structures here. Um. Upgrade under construction. We're gonna sell all the capital shipyards here and fortify heaps. Hapes can either become a can either get sacked or I don't know why I'm building infantry here, but it's probably a good thing. And we're gonna sell these. Get rid of the weekly upkeep. Um What is this? Oh, it's the XQ3. Dude, the Y Wing is just such a cool ship, man. I think to me, what I like about it is it has a more of an old world feel to it, you know? Yeah, X-Wings are building. I think we have more than enough Starfighter units now for the ground assault on this planet. We're pretty much going to be doing a full air raid. Now we can uh, plot these here. We're going to sell the New Republic base. I think. I mean, we're not making a lot of money here, are we? We could probably sell this. No more hurt us. Okay, it takes us down by about 100 credits, but that's okay. We're going to fortify that planet, though, make sure it's ready to go. Uh, Do we have any more troops we could build here? Okay, we can still build more of a Shaxx or the Dakota militia. Dude, I've always been a Gundam fan. I love seeing those kind of things. I love seeing the Gundam comments. Have you guys watched the new series, The Witch of Mercury? It's apparently really, really, really solid. It's another alternate universe kind of Gundam, but it's the first episode. There's so much death. It's not even funny. Like, if you like death and Gundam, you're going to like The Witch of Mercury's first, like, like, uh, prologue episode. I haven't watched the rest of the series yet, though. Gonna have to find some time to do that. Am I the only one that likes plopping these random like out like like set like these like these random structures out here in the middle of nowhere? I just feel like that adds to the world, you know. When I see a blank star system, it just looks weird, even if it's like credit intensive. Okay, let's get on the ground here. Invasion commencing. 
It shouldn't be too crazy. Oh, we got a lot of forces on this planet. Heading out, sir. Right away. Moving out. Heading out. Affirmative. We've secured a build pad. Attack tank copies. You are a toddler. Jesus, man. Wait, yeah. Michael, how old are you? I'm here. A toddler in the 80s? God damn. Thirty-seven. Well, hey man, I appreciate you checking out my channel. Hell, I know I could probably be a little cringe, but I appreciate it. Hey, look at that, Twi'lex. Let's uh, put a sensor node up. Actually, screw it. We're gonna send the fighters in. Okay, let's, uh, let's just keep them distracted for a little bit. Okay, let's distract this. Please disable it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Nice. That's right, Larry. You did just have a birthday. That's an AA gun. Some pretty piss poor accuracy. I await your instructions. Man Rolling into patrol. Okay, let's pull back a little bit. No, 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 no. Stop that, stop that, stop that. Just turn around. Go. Actually, we can really take this out. Okay. There we go. There we go. That's destroyed. I hear a turret on the ground. There's a infantry turret right here. Let's sell this and put a repair facility here because I don't really want to keep losing stuff. We're going to send these troopers up this ridge. Where's our field commander at? Rebel field commander on deck. I love the sounds. Birthday's next month. Nice, nice. Happy early birthday in case I don't get to say it ahead of time or when it happens. Happy early birthday. Yeah, he's got our field commander over here. Kind of have him hang back a little bit. The rest of the troops are going ahead. Let's destroy this turret. We can get the we can get the tanks back in action now. <laughs> You're welcome, dude. Do you have any tips for me? As a 37 year old man, like, do you have any tips for me? I should know of. I will say, I think Awakening of the Rebellion has the best ability roster right now. They've they've got abilities down like, to a T. Then one day at a time. A noob nerf herder. Yeah, being under. What are you guys doing? You guys want to get over here in the action? I don't think we lost any lives. Alright, get the tanks on the front. An operation where you can keep all your troops alive is a, is a very successful operation in my book. You know what's funny? Whenever I play Empire War, even though I know you can build ships a diamond doesn't, I take pride in knowing I can keep most of my things alive. Oh, 
B wings inbound, by the way. Computers locked on target. I wish Sky Domes could be better in uh, Empire War. I'm with you. I feel like I'm playing Rogue Squadron right now, like Rogue Squadron Three, looking at it from this POV. Take him out. Yo, what's up, Drake? They've already lost. They just don't know it. <laughs> Dre, how's your day going, man? What's good, bro? Happy to have you. Oh, that was unexpected. What the fuck? Where did they get 11 Star Destroyers from? <laughs> sure. Yeah, I care about the virtual lives. <laughs> it's going all right, man. Didn't do a whole lot today except sleep. That is true. Yeah, instead of just grouping everybody up all at once. Standing by. All aboard. Roger that. Construction complete. Warm up. Star Destroyers are really pathetic, though. They have no anti-fighter. Oh, we just got a soft friggin' mark too. All right, so now the problem with the Star Destroyer is they're gonna have to take this extremely awkward route around the asteroid belt. Okay, let's uh just do let's just get all the the transports out of the way. This will be group one. This will be this. Or group two. This will be group one. Or I don't know what I'm saying. Let's get this stuff set up here. Nebula is here. I'm missing anything. It's here at 90. Okay. This will be group three. I've got plenty of reinforcements too. Dre, what have you been up to, man? What'd you do all day today? Let's do this. Now, if the starter is cut down the middle, we'll be in a pretty good spot. We're gonna send the rest of the fleet back up here. Yep, like like they're gonna get absolutely demolished, especially this mod. Like when you have when you have fighter swarms, it, it's just so brutal for star destroyers, honestly. Upgrade in progress. Here, sir. Yes, this is going to be a bloodbath. Reporting this should be a winnable bloodbath. They did bring a couple of escort carriers, so they're going to be on the lookout for that. That'll probably be our first target. Because the AA on those things is lethal. And there are no explosions happening here yet, but the starter stars have also split off. So two, one is going that way. Three are heading this way. It's victory. I don't see the escort carrier. There it is. That's actually a decent number of victory classes. Okay. Let's zoom the X-Wings ahead. this quickly we don't want it to deal with the AA. There we go. Okay, that should make things a lot easier now. Holy shit. One thing that's, the only things that won't survive probably are the Gordian gunships but again, you know. Jesus. Honestly, we can use the X-Wings as a pseudo-bomber force while the rest of the fighters just deal with the ties. It doesn't really matter what we do here. Holy mother of God. No love for the Empire some mods. They actually do treat the Empire quite well, the um, ALTR. Just so people don't know how to uh, use them. Target in sight. Yes, Commander. Another Deltuin Massacre. Yep. It's a trap, but not for me.
Let's uh get some of the fighters back over here. It's like that it's like that one meme call a hospital, but not for me. <laughs> okay. We are slowly incurring some losses, but it's not too shab it's not too bad. These humans getting murked over here. Yeah. Alright, yeah, the, you, these fighters will stay back here. Ready for orders. Let's deal with this. This starter store is toast. I forgot all about this one. I honestly forgot all about this one. I'm gonna need you guys to hurry up and clean that one up, though. Let's go for the shields and this starter destroyer over here to the right. Bullet, how's your night going, my guy? Just doing these ties, I'm swarming. Transport. Oh shit, I forgot to move these out of the way. Go, go, go! Yo, what's up, Lisa? Yeah, the tactical element of uh, this mod is what makes it my personal favorite. They just call it another victory class. Let's engage this. Starfighters are gonna come over here. Let's hit the shield generator on this guy. We're gonna call in an A-wing squadron to help deal with these ties over here. That's one dead Star Destroyer. Um, let's actually start hitting the hull directly. Okay, let's call in these U-Wing squadrons. Hell's Kitchen new season? I didn't honestly know they were still making like new episodes of Hell's Kitchen. I'm being real here. This thing is getting just smushed. And they say the rebels are weak. Pop some torpedoes out. Let's get all these starfighters over here to deal with the ties. These, these guys are literally stacked on top of each other, which is interesting. Jesus, man, we are actually crushing these guys. Holy moly. Let's see with this. We are literally kicking their shit in. Like, that's like the best way to describe this right now. Let's get an H-Wing group over here. Dealing with these ties. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, this is the fighters over here. I mean... Okay, now we're starting to actually take some losses. <laughs> That's fine. Sorry about sorry if I'm if a little delayed on reading the chat, lads. Just super focused on this. Just actual ass whooping we're giving them right now. Let's um call additional X Wing squadrons over here. Rip that, you wing squadron. Shit, this is still alive. Wipe this out. Uh, we're gonna need more U wings over here. Let's deal with these ties. There goes our assault for you. This is a massacre. <laughs> This is a literal unbelievable massacre. Okay, we can we can we can just move on from this for a hot second. Deal these ties. They call he calls you to go into deep thought of mining, but the voice started to take off fighters before the president. Yeah, that's the plan. Um he changed it back to classic Hell's Kitchen. That's actually fun, though. I'm glad that they're still doing that show. I remember that show always being extremely entertaining. I didn't watch a whole we lot of it growing up. I don't think my mom like all the screaming and cussing and stuff. Little did she know I would cuss like a sailor when I got older. <laughs> That's dead. Just keep targeting the hole. I love how ridiculously strong the rebels get. Because they feel like a real republic. Jesus, man. Let's move these guys out of the way. Let's just withdraw them for a hot second. Let's do the support craft over here. Another dead Star Destroyer. I like how you said I feel like a traitor. <laughs> okay, another set of TIE Fighters down. This is actually ridiculous. This is actually insane. <laughs> Let's pull back around. There they go. This guy should not be able to jump to hyperspace, I would say. I could be wrong. No, he's not getting away. Nice. That was an ass whooping. Oh, so we're gonna we're gonna put some E wings and K wings and stuff in production too. That was a slaughter, honestly. That wasn't even no ass whooping. That was just a murder. 
I can sell this. Vault care is no longer needed. Can somebody answer my question also? Why the hell can I not build um Why can't I build the, the, the escort or yeah, yeah, why can't we build the Soror subcraft thing? How do you even get that? Cause that's locked us out of Quasar as the whole run. Is that is that like just something that's not enabled in this in this galactic scenario? Because ever since I started this run like two months ago, you, you straight up could not build them. It it, it lists a prerequisite for the, but it says you need the um. What you call it? The uh, the uh, the uh, Soror subcraft, but but like that's not even a build option. Unless we've just got too many structures here. I don't think that's the case though. I could try selling one of the friggin' yards. Actually, wait, let's finish let's finish building up the Fondor shipyards to just suit all of our needs over there. Construction complete. Constructing unit. We're building an extremely advanced fleet for the outer rim. Tactical battle imminent. I knew this was gonna happen. Actually, shit, dude, this is actually a problem. Oh my god, they have three belators. Okay. I don't even know if we're calling it our own. Why the fuck wouldn't the game call in our own belator? Or our own mandate, rather? You gotta get going. Alright, man. Thanks for hanging out while you could, dude. I appreciate it. Slight chance we might retreat because I do not want Garm and Adar to die. That's a lot of stuff, man. Jesus. That's a hell of a lot of stuff, my d my dudes. Awaiting orders. Copy. Okay. Let's keep slowing this big fucker down. Yeah, all of our hero units are actually over here. Wait a minute. Let's get you right here. You right here. You right here. You right here. These are more ion cannon focus, right? Stun ion cannons. Yeah. This is what happens when you don't upgrade your fleet properly. You have to deal with stuff like this. We got civilians in the area. Select your heroes to put them in the corner. That's what I'm. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, they're gonna. They're gonna pretty much stick back the entire time. I just don't like the concept of them being up on the front lines. It's just an easy way to die. Many anal about losing heroes to a degree. Like if I don't have to lose them, I'm not gonna lose them. I should stop saying I'm anal about something. This sounds so weird, dude. Let's get the fighters to the front. Why didn't the game call in our own mandator? I am very confused by that decision. I'm surprised it didn't just insta kill that, honestly. So the free dreadnoughts from Iblis? Yeah. Yeah, let's get the fighters up here. This thing doesn't have a lot in terms of anti-fighter. Ready for orders. Over there. Let's do some damage. 
Let's hit the shields on this. Let's actually get some of the upgrades going. That's a lot of starfighters, man. Jesus Christ. Is it the other shield generator? Is this a Tector? That was a regular Imperial class. Nuts Blade are gonna be funner. <laughs> Dude, holy cow. You calling for me, sir? Targeting systems online. Okay, circle around, circle around. Let's hit the shield generators in this victory class. Take up these ties over here. Get over here, deal with these ties. Go, 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 go. Okay, there's that. Let's deal with these guys. Apparently, let's, deal with, let's deal with all these escorts. Please just throw the shields on this. Okay, that's another one now. The bladers just kind of hanging out. Okay, you get back here. Let's just keep hitting that thing with an eye cannon, honestly. Alright, we got tie interceptors over here. He's out. Come on, come on, come on. Get these guys over here. Okay, let's just keep this let's, let's keep their reinforcements at bay. Actually no 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 no. Just, just do something like that. I don't know. Did the music stop? No, the music didn't stop. Okay. Okay. Let's move these fighters in over here and deal with these laser cannons. Or deal with these rocket launchers, rather. It's gonna be a hot minute before we can call in any reinforcements either. Okay. Okay, serverless crews are out. Let's get, the, let's get the rest of the fighters down here. Track those incoming. Shit, that game is what I'm just dead. Come on, hold together. Damn. Warm up. Open Get these ties over here. Another Star Destroyer has jumped out of hyperspace. Okay, there's that. Let's do with these next. Just keep hitting that with iron cannon fire, honestly. Keep shooting the ties now. Okay. They're approaching the fleet now. Okay. Let's turn these ties, let's turn these starfighters around and head for the starfighters back here. What do you think, wins a Praetor or a Luckerhog? In my opinion, probably a Praetor. If we're talking about raw, like, firepower? If we're ignoring all laws of physics with a Praetor. Or with, or, yeah, if we're talking to, like, a raw, like, firepower stance, I feel like a Praetor should win. Oh, Luckerhog Battleship? 
The Walker Hulk might win then just because of the fact that it has a shit ton of starfighters. Let's just deal as much damage as we can to this. Yes, Let's turn around a little bit. I copy. Damn, we didn't even touch this thing. Okay. Star is just moving in. No fucks given. Check this out. Just, they have so many TIE Fighters, man. This is the, all these damn escort carriers. Not escort carriers, but these Gonzati carriers. We're starting to run out of fighters ourselves, too. Have we launched any new ones? Nope. Copy. We just lost our first cruiser too, but we do have the ability to call in additional reinforcements now, which is always a plus. Let's just smash this hull. Turn around. Over there, take out these ties. Take them out, take them out, take them out. Size over here. Deal with these. Deal with these. There's so many TIE fighters. Holy shit. Jesus Christ, these these Wildings are dead. Alright, well yeah, these guys are literally bone. There's way too many TIE fighters for them to deal with over there. Actually, we might be able to just knock this one out back here. It looks like they just called in a large fighter swarm, though, so we might be okay for the time being. Let's hit this back here with an eye cannon. Um, get these guys up. Get these guys up. I'm going to call it X-Wing Squadrons. You should be able to just go directly there and deal with them. Okay. How many damn TIE Fighters do they have, man? There's so many. There's so many TIEs. <laughs> There's a, a hilarious number of TIE Fighters. Still have so many escorts back here, man. The bulk of our swarm is gonna be so preoccupied. Let's deal with these guys. Just destroy as many of them as we can. Okay. This is ridiculous, dude. Alright, let's, let's start focusing fire on this. Holy shit, where did the other side bombers come from? This is hell on earth over here. Jesus, man. There's so many. 
Only the elite fighters are surviving at this point. Oh yeah, fuck that. Focus fire on this now. Okay, this is still not a totally lost battle either, which is crazy to me. This is concentrated fire on this hull. These X Men's are getting crushed back here. All right, chat. How we feeling right now? How we feeling about this whole situation? This is ridiculous. Alright, we can take out the carriers now. How do we miss the ion cannon shot? Okay, let's just keep dealing with the fighters back here. Honestly, I don't even know if we got anybody in chat right now. I haven't been paying attention because it's been so zeroed into this battle. Okay. This should be going boom any moment. One down. Let's focus fire on the next one. Damn, we didn't catch it in time. I was hoping we could catch it as it's exiting hyperspace. That's okay. Take out all this stuff. Roger that. A couple of fighters are getting crushed, dude. so many escorts dude that are just dropping ties by like the dozens or the hundreds rather they are the star destroyers though i just noticed looks like we have launched more uh, x-wings from over here though let's just keep hitting this with the iron cannon blast The sheer volume of these damn carriers they have is ridiculous, man. But it gives our fleet a fighting chance at least, so that's a plus. That's always a plus. Setting course. Okay. I copy. Reporting. Reporting. Are they called another they still have more star destroyers left? That's good to know. Let's concentrate all of our fire on this man, on this belator. Yes, Commander. Okay, this is um. This is becoming more and more winnable by the moment. Like, we were probably going to win always. But I'm glad we stuck it out. Okay, 
Gonna hold on to the eye cannon with dear life. Okay, let's deal, with, let's deal with these. Here we go. Concentrate all of our fire on taking out the hangar bays and these things. Make sure they can't launch any more fighters. Deal with these ties over here. They've got so many! It's, a, it's, ridic it's absurd how many of these they have. This is just obnoxious. Obviously, I'm not even worried about the ties that are heading towards the fleet at this point. Holy shit. Let's pull out of here. Let's pull out of here. Actually, we gotta, we gotta duke it out with him. We don't have a choice. They have so many tie bombers, dude. This is so stupid, actually. I've been counter strated. Things are slowly starting to fall apart for us a little bit here. Just the sheer volume of fighters and how much they're throwing at us is just unmatched. Like we can't we can't compete. They still have so many left. Stop it. Let's get some kind of concentrated effort with these damn tie bombers. For fuck's sakes, we've got multiple corvettes in this fleet. Shoot them down. There you go. Just shoot these sons of bitches out of the sky. Holy moly, that's a lot of ties. This is madness. As Obi Wan would say. Another one down. Okay, let's keep our distance here. Let's just focus on shooting down the ties. Let's just take our trump car being our own our belator. Okay. We destroyed. We destroyed three. We've destroyed three of them so far. Moving out. Now we just gotta worry about the damn Tie Fighters and bombers that are plaguing this entire battlefield. I'm also gonna ignore the Belator for a hot second. Just concentrate on dealing with the Ties. Shut them up finally. Holy cow. We'll send those fighter squadrons after them. Let's move these guys behind for a hot second. They've got more fighters coming in, but that's not terrible. Honestly, at our talent might get moved up a little bit. All three of them might get moved up just as. Oh, they still got star destroyers. No, 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 no. Hold that position. Starfighters inbound. Did the assault figures have injured hard points? The fact that they still have Star Destroyers is, is honestly insane. Don't they give up? You know how many Imperial lives you just lost trying to just secure one planet? 
I just flew through an asteroid belt too, I think. Shields are almost gone. There's so many bombers left, dude. Open fire on those laser cannons. Let's deal with the ties in the fleet. Where's that X-Wing squadron at? Oh, they are just zipping around the map, okay. Honestly, if this tells me anything that we need to do is just modernize our fleet at this point. He suicided? Well, it's gonna die anyway. Concentrate all fire on the closest Star Destroyer. Let's get Adar and Garm and everybody in the battle. Yeah, it was dead in it was dead in the water anyway. Get with these ties, shoot them down, shoot them all down. They still have more Star Destroyers! How? <laughs> Hold position, hold position. This is ridiculous. They're not calling it anymore, so I think that's it. Just concentrate fire on the, 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 the weaker hard points and then concentrate fire on the hull. No, they're good, they're good, they're good, they're good. I want them up here now. I think we're gonna be okay. Pop shots at those side fighters, don't even let them get close. Dude, the fact that they still have so many of these fucking things is driving me nuts. I'm genuinely getting mad looking at all this shit. Let's call them these escorts. Let's, let's do a swift pullback for a hot second. Let's get these fighters up here. Holy cow. It's 810 already. Let's just start dealing damage to this. Dude, what the fuck? Why do they have so many TIE fighters? Okay, let's now, now let's hit this with withdrawal. How do they have so many TIE fighters, man? This is ridiculous. CR-90, stay behind. Deal with these fighters. Deal with these, deal with these. We reduce the swarm to nothing once again. Turn around, turn around. Okay. 
That's another swarm dealt with. All forces focus fire on this son of a bitch. <laughs> Honestly, we're going to war with hammerhead friggins now. We're, we're doing everything we can to stop this thing. Okay. Is it the hangar base on this? I don't even think these have any real guns. They have point, they have dual heavies, that's it. I don't care, screw it, we're all in this battle. This is all for the Republic. Oh yeah, it's the actual belator himself. We've sacrificed so much of this fleet to destroy this fleet. Destroy these TIE Fighters, please help them out. Actually, destroy their, destroy their engines. Can this retreat? Yeah, it can't. Alright, focus, yeah, focus on their engines. This son of a bitch is literally moving out of the way. I said it was another eye cannon to stun it. Let's run the last of the engine hard points. Okay, we can get engaged into this battle now. Let's, let's keep hitting the big guns. There we go. Okay, engines destroyed. Let's just hit these guns now. Let's get the bombers focusing on the hulls. We'll use the actual starships to destroy the guns just a little bit to keep neuter in it. Dude, imagine if Starship Rex could stay on the field like until the next battle or two. You know what this place will look like, man? Not much is left of the Republic fleet after that. And shockingly. I don't think anybody's surprised at this point, but <laughs> God, God almighty, we took our ass, we took a beating. So that was the fleet that probably came from down here. Yeah, because that's where the bulk of their force was. So they're gonna be pretty raw down here. I'm on it. Let's move the rest of the fleet in. Construction Recruiting troops. Let's take care of this once and for all. Dude, holy smokes, we actually destroyed that fleet. That's insanity. Nice. Standing by. We're gonna go up here. Choose your reinforcements. We've got our own man. We've got our mandator now too, so we can do some damage with this. But I'm thinking about just calling the rest of the rebel or the Republic fleet, but we don't really have much. On my way. Right away. Actually, yeah, screw that. Go down center. I don't think this thing can retreat.
Pull back a little bit. Reinforcements cancelled. Heading out. Actually, yeah, pull back. He's gonna fly through the asteroid belt and smush. We're gonna we're gonna call it in it. We're gonna jump it in over here. As soon as we've cleared the asteroid belt. Heading to destination. There we go. Star destroyer standing by. Moving Actually, yeah, just turn this way, literally. You dumbass, and then just just go straight down the middle. Ain't hard. No calling the rest of the support for you. What's left of it anyway? Why does this only call in uh, T wings? Why? Why? Why does this call in T wings? It doesn't make any sense to me. That, that, that actually kind of just doesn't make sense to me. Okay, there's some X wings. Okay, get these guys all up here. Wow, they have a lot of fighters. Mostly acclimators, though, in a victory, too. Get the fuck down here. I should take this take this victory cruiser. Go, go, go. Actually, just focus on the hull and they just kill it. There, retreat. There might be a vendor with Arc 170s. I hope so. <laughs> That gives us a lot of wiggle room now to actually just move on in and just start taking shit out left, right, and center. Renvar is ours now. I don't know what we're going to do about 84, but we're going to worry about that later. I'm going to move this fighter force in. We're going to get our troops down here ASAP. So be it. We keep tabs on what the hell is going on over here. Our tank is on the ground, sir. Construction complete. Here. <laughs> hey, look, arcs. Honestly, we're going to cancel construction on all the forces we're building down here and just allocate them up here. If anything, that definitely gives me the, the inclination to start building up the rest of the Republic fleet. Let's do, um... Gonna build, I'm gonna build CR 90s in numbers right now. Just as many light vessels as we can until we're able to replenish our actual frigate force. Kyle's on his way up there, so he should be able to give us a little bit of intel what's happening. And Eddie. Honestly, might need to reallocate the Republic fleet we've got down here. So many good zombies, dude. <laughs> now this planet isn't gonna be easy. Three golem, two golem threes, and a golem two. Right. Constructing unit. Unit 
in production. Yeah, after how brutal those space battles were, we definitely just gotta focus on building up the rest of the Republic fleet for the time being. Um. Unit in production. Unit constructing unit. We'll just construct ships wherever we can. Mandalore included. Unit. We're on the move. She goes on by the huts. No, don't worry. We, we, we will. We're going to rectify that very, very shortly. Trust me. Just got to figure out our situation with the rest of the fleet. Okay. Shit, what did they just say? Frigate standing by? God knows what they're doing down there with the huts too. Gunboat here, sir. Moving into position. Honestly, might have to move this fleet up here, here. or back way. up there, and then get everything underway. Let's take let's take control of Renvar. Oh, the Empire's weak. They have a lot of stormtroopers. Good lord. Feels good to be pushing the Empire out of here, though. ATATs, anti-air units. Get these guys down here. Let's move out. Engines active. Geon speeder moving out. On my way, sir. The Geons are going to be there to defend against the the uh, Just give us the word, General. Let's move these guys forward. Combat speeder copy. I like the ice version of this dude. I love this speeder for some reason. The combat speeder reporting for duty. Ready for attack. I think about them being up here already. Giving up already? Moving in. Acknowledged. Combat speeder reporting for duty. Combat speeder ready. Cannon standing ready. Cover tank is ready for action. Take them out, take them out. This is when we play Battlefront, man. Cover tank ready. Receiving. Ready for battle, sir. Okay. Combat speeder stands by. Reporting. Yes, sir. This all I brought in for five. Oh, no, this is actually a pretty decent amount. Okay. Yes, Commander. Dakota, you're going to move up here. Let's secure this position. So be it. I'm set. Combat speeder. Tanks, you're going to guard this area. Proceed. If they have an AT AT, they more than likely have an anti air unit, which is actually something I need to consider. Just give the order, sir. Yeah, this guy's already heavily damaged. They actually have an anti air unit. Combat speeder reporting for duty. Targeting. What do you see? Combat speeder reporting for duty. Not a computer adjustment. Combat speeder ready. Two of you guys over here. What is it? Ready for orders. Let's get this paralyzed. Keep dealing some damage, man. Base bunker turrets. Blind man and a fool. Let's secure the position. We're gonna actually put a repair facility over here. Cover tank ready to attack. Cover tank ready to attack. Cover tank ready to attack. Fire. Actually, no, no. Stay back. 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 Let's not even risk engaging anything. We don't want to fight. I like how the ATPTs can walk through there just fine, but our um, speeder boys can't. Let's send the uh, AACs over here to deal with these infantry units. Okay, let's just put these guys in the middle ground for the time being. Okay, let's get the repair facility up. Looks like you've angered the Cody, you go here. Secure this position. Oh, no, you're good, man. Thanks for the heads up. I may be blind, but I'm still connected to the force. Thank you, Cody. Let's move you guys all over here. 
giving up already? <laughs> what do you see? All right, Coda, I'm gonna need you to secure this position over here next. Come here. Combat speeder reporting for duty. Okay. Let's get a sensor. Code, what is this? Put you right here. Ready. Put you right here. Combat speeder reporting for duty. Ready for battle, sir. I just got through fixing that, man. Let's head for this landing zone. Fool against the Empire. I'm set. Nav computer adjusted. I have him in my sight. Moving on the enemy. Okay. Engaging target. Fire. Just give the order, sir. I heard. Come on, come on, come on. A little bit more. There we go. Like you've angered the locals. Okay, let's let's un the stuff use misses this and put it on the repair facility back up here. I may be blind, but I'm still We're gonna need it. To the they still got plenty of fighters left too. You can withdraw. Main converters fired up. Construction Cannon standing ready. Combat speeder ready. I have to go through you, but so be it. Damn, we lost the spear. Giving up already. Reporting. Hover tank is ready for action. Hover tank ready. There's a forward position. Yeah, there's definitely there's a base bunker there. Ready for battle, sir. I have him in my sight. What do you see? Pull back! Pull back! Why the fuck are we in the front like this? I actually yes, hate tanks in, in this Over game in. so much. What is it? Combat Why in the hell are we all the way up there? <laughs> you know? We can't call on our T4Bs though. A blind man and a fool against the Empire. Yeah. They still got an anti-air unit on the ground. Now these tanks just, they don't give a fuck. T4Bs are literally the absolute the final boss of uh, the mod. Looks like you've angered the locals. Main converters fired up. Guys, move it back spotted. here. Acknowledge. I may be blind, but I'm still connected to the force. Okay. Give me the time. Let's get this guy fixed. These guys, these things are expensive, so I'm taking extra care with them. Just give the order, sir. Nav a computer adjusted. Blasted scum! Main converter fired up. Fire! That course is blocked. I heard you. Destroy. Computer adjusted. Giving up already? Stormtroopers. Holding fire for nothing. Here we go. I'll take it out. Actually, no, 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 no. T4, T4, he's got this. Damn, they are dismantling this AT-AT. I'll take it out. No, I didn't say come over here. Stay the fuck back. <laughs> I did not say move. As you come out, General. What is it? I have to go through you, but so be it. God damn, dude. Getting tank getting okay. units to follow orders is dude, units follow orders combat challenge impossible. Let's move let's move the combat speeders out of the way. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing, my dude? <laughs> so we can call them the fighters now, I guess. Oh, shit, these guys are dying. There's an anti-air gun over here. Go, go, go. Okay. 
I'm gonna drive this fucking tank. Run their asses over. Base is secure, kinda, sorta. Let's keep it pushing. Go, go, go. Boy. A gun over here. Let's take that out. A really clean bombing room would be nice with a gun, Coda, you're gonna move forward to secure this position with what's left of your team. Okay, pull out, 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 pull out. Wild wings are inbound. Computers locked on target. Show me what to destroy. I love this map though. I wish the maps like yeah, Empire War, like the ground battles though, I wish like, they could just spam like, or spam like entire parts of the planet, not just these little corners, you know? That's a lot of dead imps. The way something the brightness looks pretty bad on my game, which I don't see. I can crank it down a smidge, but I don't think it's that bad. Let's get a repair facility up here. What? Let's withdraw. Let's pull back a little bit. Keep moving. Go, go, go. Let's get all these guys over here and get them fixed up really quick. Get them patched up. Construction complete. You've secured a build pad. What do you see? There we go. How are we holding up, troops? Starfighter raids are keeping them preoccupied for the time being. I still do think Remake has the best, like, fighter locomotion on ground, at least. It's it's insane how good it is. Gonna lock his walls in defense position for a hot second. Just stay mobile. This looks so cool. Receiving. Just running our way through the Empire. You still have turrets? Destroy this. This guy's still alive down here. He's over 
here somewhere. Now this map is very bright. Holy cow. They've already lost. They just don't know it. It's this map. This map is definitely pretty bright, but yeah, we're good now. Okay. We did lose a couple of the Geon speeders, which is whatever. We should still the facilities to produce these in numbers. I really, or not the GM speeders, the combat, the V25 combats. I really like this speeder. Uh, so we're going to keep that in decent numbers. Okay. I think we're going to hit best with the next. We're moving out. Assault Nebulon frigate here. Nebulon V frigate here. Construction complete. Tactical battle. Oh, they got a pretty decent force here. That should be fun. I don't think they have an orbiting station though, so this should be really easy. Oh, they do. Okay. I don't know why I thought I had two nebulous. Oh well. Heading out. Order acknowledged. Start our just start our jump. Move out. On my way. Moving out. Getting out. Fall out. Confirm. Reinforcements are moved. Reinforcements. Let's move out. Let's go. Reinforcements on route. Reinforcements on route. Orders received. Oh, come on. Yeah, this is a Republic fleet. This is one of the most advanced fleets we've had. Like, look at that. Look at the guns of this thing. Reporting. Star Destroyer standing by. Star Destroyer reporting in. Yes, Commander. Ready. Squadron, move out. We need the Endurance. I really hope that we get the Endurance of the mob with the New Republic Squadron update. Reporting. Awaiting your orders. Standing by. Awaiting your command. So wait, what is the description for this again? It can hold it only against two Imperial, two Star Destroyers. That's kind of ridiculous. Moving over here, lots of lots of transports Reporting there. So be mindful of civilians, Reporting in. or something like that. Ready for command. Oh, oh, here. Form up. Okay. For me, sir. Roger that. It's as good as gone. Lasers linked here and ready. Enemy fighters coming in. Let's hit them. Never mind, they pull them back. They're scared. <laughs> okay, let's uh do this. Pull back fighter squadrons. Dude, the amount of raw firepower this fleet has is ridiculous. Fighters. Okay. I don't know where the rest of the fleet is. Well, they probably captured one of the other nations on the map. Roger that. 
Which is annoying. That means we're gonna have to fight, we're gonna have to hunt them down. I'm thinking about playing Mass Effect 3 on stream. Fighters right there. They've already lost. Sweet. They just don't know it. Damn, we actually lost the knee wing squadron in that. How the heck? Constructing unit. Unit constructing unit. Okay. All right, Leia, Han, you guys, let's scout out around, see what's in the area. This is getting stupid. Like, that's just absurd. Man, we got fight. We got stuff to counter them with. Jeez, man. Is that really what our our battles are about to fall down to? It's just the number of um, anti-gun units we can spare? Actually, we shouldn't build these here. Our fleet is so far away. Moving out. Squadron reporting. Nebulon B boarded here. Vectors set. Squadron reporting. Squadron reporting. Unit in production. Construction complete. Okay. Construction complete. Right Engines operational. Hmm. I just we have six slots. Why don't I have? Oh, we got one for tech. Um, sure, it doesn't really matter, I guess. Constructing unit. Constructing unit. Unit in production. Yeah, let's move these guys down here. A hot minutes to save. Let's save. Let me grab some water too.
Whew, I just popped my ankle to go. Okay. Uh, what do we want to do? Do we want to keep going with this for a little bit? I'm slightly in the mood to play a little bit of Halo, but I don't know yet. Why not what? Let's see, um, it doesn't really matter what we do. Let's finish up this last land battle. We'll, um, we'll take control of Bespin. standing by. Let's go. Airwing squadron here. Nebulon B frigate here. At least I'll break a Sheik. That's going to be a bit of a tall order, because the reason why I'm slightly considering... Uh, like what we're gonna do next is because I actually have to get off in a little bit. Uh, me and my fiance are doing a little bit of a job hunt right now, so whatever we do next, I'm just kind of vibe with it. I don't know if I really want to um, sit down and do another full set of conquesting. So that's what I'm thinking. Like we might make best in the last one, and then after that, uh, play something else a little bit more relaxed. Because again, I gotta I gotta get off in a little bit. It's not like I've been streaming for three hours. I'll tell you what. Three and a half, rather. Husband, we're here to deliver democracy. Yes, Guys, hope you don't mind. We heard there were, uh, were uh, uh, Imperial loyalists on this world. Yeah, that's what it is. Let's get the troops up here. Most of the forces are going to be concentrated in the center area. Accelerating to attack speed. Stay on target. I'm going in. Awaiting the left one on your tail. Your whole position. Sir? But the X-Wings keep softening up the targets a little bit here. Dealing damage to them. Defense troopers. Rip these poor Besbin guards. I don't really like the Besbin maps though. Because, like, this is such a big fucking city in Star Wars. This thing should be a literal cityscape. I don't really like this concentrated little thing we got here. It's just too small, in my opinion. I want to see, like, a cityscape, you know? Or give us a give it give us a map in the Battlefront One style. Our troops? No, those are locals. We should be able to deal with pretty much all the local forces here. 
ourselves. Let's get these uh, T3s in position over here. Yep, just keep taking these poor locals out. I think one of these days we're gonna play Battle. Ooh, yeah, we should play Battlefront 3 on stream or Battlefront 2 on stream. Like, the more modernized version of it. Okay. We've got a bobbing run up. Okay, let's get the troop down here. These are eight guards, what the hell? Okay. Keep it moving, troops. Too short. We, maybe we'll just go ahead and break a sheet. This is a little too short. <laughs> As we're not going, dude. There we go. Okay. Didn't lose a single life. Our public troops survived. Yay, Wookie War Parties. That is true. Okay, yeah, we do get some pretty cool bonuses for taking ships. That's fair. We do have a pretty we have a pretty damn powerful fleet here too. Ready to do it. That's going good, pretty good. Or pretty chill. That's good, man. Did you guys did you guys have to work or anything today? Well it is a Friday, so I'm probably good. it's probably safe to assume you probably did. Um Okay, they're building up their forces over here again. And prep for that assault eventually. Construction complete. Let's um get more MC30s in production. A lot of people told me I should invest more into the MC30s, and I believe you guys. You're right. You're right. Our other tech level's almost done too, which is really, really good. I don't have a local force up here though, like a ground troop. Hey, wing gumbo here. I guess we could send Coda's group down here. That'll kind of take us out of this region for a hot second. This reveals local t it, or information too, because of the Republic base here. Now at least it's our 18th last move just hanging out for now. Okay, that's a good thing, man. You better enjoy while you can. You know, you know. I didn't think about the possibility of these guys attacking us over here. The more and more that I look at the the possibility. Okay, okay yeah, we can't build any more. Uh, we can't build any more uh, militias. Once again. Got information on everything over here right now. Oh wow! All right, they got three locker hawks over here. We can do that. Heading out. Okay. Heading out. By. Let's make sure we get all of our reinforcements down here, like we've like we've been saying we were gonna do. Jesus. That's one of the fleets of all time. Okay. 
construction complete. Oh, now nah, we're too we're too into it already. Too late. I'm gonna need Shaq to stay up there anyway, just in case the Imperials from um, the corporate sector area try to make it try to make a move. That's a lot of local hoax, man. My the gods, it's a lot. Hey, I'm just keeping them on standby just in case. Hey, we got the local Wookiee forces too. Wookiee tech is something else in my, in my opinion. Okay, we got two stations, two outer defense platforms. This arguably is either going to be really good or a bloodbath. I already know they're gonna have a gig of shit ton of starfighters too, so we're just gonna bring our own in. Yeah, at least it's not three bladers, that's true. That is true. All the Clone Wars mods have scarred me when it comes to the to the bladers and stuff or when it comes to the local hogs now. <laughs> I think that would be so broken then. Cause Shaq can Shaq can literally 1v1 the Star Destroyer. I feel like that would probably be too good. <laughs> they would be so... They would be ridiculous and powerful. They really can't do too much damage to our shields from here. Ready for command. Calling Ready for command. Roger that. Form up. Order received. Okay. Proceed. Squadron, move out. Waiting order. Copy. Let's do these fighters. Go. Let's engage the Star Destroyer on the Vinegar class. Crate gunships everywhere. Oh, wow, these things are actually doing some damage. Wait a minute. What the hell is happening over here? A wings, why are you all the way over here? Oh my god, dude. Why are you all the way up there? Let's keep the fighters just back. These great gunships are lethal. Holy moly. I don't know that damn good. Okay. These soft workers are pretty much out of the battle. Stay, stay, stay back. Stay back, stay back, stay back, stay back. Stay back. We need to keep them alive as long as we can. He managed to 1v1 a Venator with, with, with 4 to 5 Arquinas and a few bombers? That sounds about right. We can go back. Alright, this is the regular combat version. This isn't the good one. What makes the difference is this these versions are very heavily or very heavily underarmed. We're gonna go for this long range station back here in a minute too. Is that gonna become a problem? Right, let's just go full firepower. Guns ablaze! These things do some damage, man. Let's move down here. Okay. Reporting. Reporting. Yes, sir. Keep going. 
I'm sure to send the bombers left. Yes. Yes, it is, my dear friend. Yeah, scratch of the pain, you know, nothing, nothing too crazy. Alright, let's send the fighters up ahead. And our A-Wings with a death wish. Shout out to modding, man. When I, like, looking back on the old models for our Empire War, it's kind of crazy how ugly, like, they actually kind of work in comparison to what we got now, you know? These guys... Let's see what the next set of fighters are coming in. ASAP, get over here ASAP. Take these guys out. These things hurt badly. There we go. Okay, bombers, you can make a move. Fighters, you can help them out. Lots of E-Wings. Falling any moment. Okay. I start rotating over here and keep it moving. Those guns are down. These assault frigates are completely incapacitated and not even worth bringing into the fight. Damn, we lost another A-Wing squadron. Okay. Not gonna lose another MC-40. Exactly, man. Exactly. Just keep, it, it keeps things interesting, too. It's crazy. Okay, that's gone. That MC-40 is safely pulled away. Wookiee transports are really helping out. I hope we get the wool fighter. It was like something they used in Legacy of the Force. It was like a literal starfighter that the Wookiees had. Okay, that station's been destroyed. Let's move over here. Actually, the bombers can move up over here. Let's actually finish off the base itself. You know, these cheap fighters. See, and that's another thing. That's the, another reason with those mods too is like, or with that mod in particular, it's just so easy to spam shit. In my opinion, like, it's so 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 easy to spam shit. I just don't know about how much I would enjoy that after a while. It's just, it just feels like there's just a billion capital ships, a billion kind of semi-meaningless heroes, you know? I don't know. Uh, maybe, maybe I'm being a little too judgmental. Okay. That definitely helps us a little bit in our current scenario. We also are about to, we're about to get access to both and assault frigates in a minute too, which is going to be hot. I don't remember what model they have, but I hope they change the both and assault frigate model too. Not to the one that everybody's been using, but just a cleaner version of this model. I like this both and like assault cruiser design. It's one of the designs of all time. Fallout. 
Construction complete. Construction complete. Okay. Yeah, for the for the Republic. Destination acquired. Space tech level advanced. New options available. Hmm. Good, good. Unit canceled. Well, as a resident of Republic, we could be able to contribute to defense with the result of powerful close range. We could be able to deal a sane amount of damage if we can get in the range. Unit in production. Unit canceled. 26 population points. Jesus. Well, it isn't in a place for it isn't a replacement for the assault frigate. That's for certain. It does too much, or it takes up too many points to be a one-to-one -one replacement. We're about to fuck these slugs up, dude. Construction complete. We had never built Rebel One somehow. Might keep it like that. Canonically, it is destroyed. Maybe we'll just keep it like that. <laughs> okay, let's get multiples of these in production. <laughs> Bill and Bob. Okay, the, the extra forces are about to be here. Coda, you're going on the ground. Oh yeah, this will be easy. This should be really easy. Incoming! What is it? Spreading out! Turbo laser towers are everywhere. A blind man and a fool against the Empire. Uh, Let's get these guys down here quickly. Ball out. I really Move do hope out. we get a version of the Ewing with no Z95s, because I want to call a Ewing in, but I think they're Go just... As you come out. Them having X-Wings just kind of throws me off. Heading out, sir. Right away. Attack tank copies. Yo, what's up, Mr. One? Oh, the Magnetar. Boy. Yes, General. Uh, looks like you've angered the locals. Oh, they're just ignoring us. All right, make a make a, make a break for the landing zone. I got like a woodland camel. That's. Cool. I need these lines, but I'm still connected to the force. A major strike is boarding in. Really need it. Let's hit let's hit the ground running, everybody. Fire and quest. Giving up already. What do you we see? Capture the command post. What is it? All Wookiee survivors, head towards the center landing zone. Blind man and a fool against the Empire. All weapons look. Show me what to destroy. And then we get X-Wings in the sky. Nice. Honestly, this is the, this is only the second one. If it if it's on a stream if it's on a stream twice before, that's because I was try, still trying to figure it out. Blasted scum. And we just lost a T3B. Looks like I may be blind, but I'm still here. The power generator should be back here. We'll let the troops deal with these guys. Found it. As you come out, Maximum fire. Show me what to destroy. Engines come on, go, go, go. Let's see what this next. Show me what to destroy. Giving up already. I heard an A gun somewhere. What do you see? Right, let's get these tanks down here. Go, go, go. What is it? I have to go get in position right Soviet. around here. Let's, Let's get a repair facility up so we can actually keep pushing forward. But yeah, don't um. Yeah, I don't know. It's like you gotta have like the YouTube notifications on, so don't sweat it, man. It happens. We're still all trying to figure it out, you know. If you could have a mind, we could create your own little faction for AOT, like AOTR, the Infinite Empire, but you use over public phone tech or even Mendel tech. I suppose it would. I feel like we have so many mods that already try to do the whole merge Clone Wars into and mix them with the faction too, you know? Especially considering that with Remake, you literally have the access to literally everything. 
Now, granted, not everybody likes to play with me, but you get so much access in that one. Blasted scum! Yes, Commander. That's what I was fucking getting up, man. They're all Starfighter units, just, just keep your distance from the top. Destroy the pigs! Yeah, I saw it. I will always say one thing, chat. My perception when it comes to playing Empire War is always going to be pretty decently high. I pay attention a lot to what's happening. Yes, General. I'm just securing these in case we get attacked on the land here. Get this fixed up. Also, we need a new ground vehicle repair mo uh, model. Let's tear it up. What do you see? That microband is real? <laughs> so be it. I try my best, man. Hey, like a YouTube over Twitch? I feel like it's easier to interact with people on here. That's definitely one of the key things I'm noticing. Yeah, that turns down. Tanks are free to move up. Troops are free to move up. Let's go, go, go. A blind man and a fool against the empire. It feels like it's definitely easier to interact with everybody. Most of my community is here anyway. So it just kind of makes the most sense, really. Boy. Blasted scum shouldn't have come here. Try to catch Cory? Like Cory loses? Like you I don't think Cory's mods is the awakening of the rebellion. If I have to go through these super pigs are trying to beat our tanks to death. I have such a hard time watching people play strategy games though. No bullshit. Anyone got got anyone memberships yet? Um, I don't think so. No, we got six. Six like six like was our first member. What today. See? He was our very first one today. Like honestly, do do people like having like the extra perks and stuff for the membership stuff, or are they just because like it's so hard to come up with ideas for that? At least for me, anyway. Maybe I'm dumb. Probably dumb. But, um, yeah, that's, that's, that's why it's so difficult for me to consistently play, um, this, uh, game from time to time. Cause it's like, dude, I play, I've got, I've got a thousand videos on this channel, <laughs> you know? So it's like looking at it, it's like, damn dude, how many more times can I repeat the same battles pretty much, you know, on the same maps and the same uh, scenarios and so forth and so forth. That's why sometimes it just takes me so long to get content out for it. I played it so much. I played it an egregious, egregious amount of times now. Uh, Empire War. It's like, it isn't hard to come up with ideas for the, for the game. Like you, you really don't have to try that hard, but it's just like, good googly moogly man. Yo, Mr. One, thank you for joining the members. I appreciate it, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really do appreciate that, man. That's our second member ever. Guys, we're a YouTube streamer now. Let's go. No, but thank you, dude. I got to come up with um some better sound effects for that, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to do air horn for now. I haven't had really, the, I haven't had time to just sit down and kind of mess with everything, but we did get all the commands and stuff kind of set up. I think they were. Is it even worth attacking the station? Okay, yeah, okay. I was, you, it's funny you mentioned it. I was thinking about uh, like all the different people we've got subscribed to over on the YouTube channel or on the Twitch channel. So I was wondering what your Twitch name is off the top of my head, but I couldn't remember. Now I remember, thank you, Gage. So now I'll just continue to just keep calling you Gage. <laughs> 
But I think YouTube is pretty fun, man. Thank you, Gage. I think it's a... It's an interesting experience, to say the least. It's gonna be a lot of trial and error. A lot of figuring out. <laughs> he is he is set to be on Twitch for like 12 months, to be fair. He's already he's already hit that long-term status. But something to hear and hear you and Six, I appreciate you guys, man. I gotta come up with some things to do with the members. Like... I, don't, I hate doing like like exclusive video type things because I like to treat everybody the same on my channel, you know? I don't think really anybody should get a video early. What the fuck is happening up here? Yep, we have the Nebulous. Jesus. This fleet was terrifying. <laughs> I appreciate it, man. <laughs> that, that's becoming a popular thing I'm noticing. People actually like giving me money for some reason. All I do is make shit dad jokes and fart. I don't really get it. But I'll take it. Well, not take it in the, in the negative sense, but you know what I mean. Yeah, this guy, these guys are dead. That's a lot of Gonzadis. They're just gonna retreat. Let's throw those engines. And we make no sense. Well, I do appreciate it, guys. Just so you know, I always do appreciate it. When I first started streaming on YouTube and people were donating, dueling gifted subs and stuff, I'm just like, I appreciate it, but what the fuck? <laughs> I'm not doing anything that entertaining, you know? Dude, I can't believe we actually have members now. That's crazy, man. You guys got me grinning over here like a little schoolgirl. I, I, I appreciate it. Coming around. Plotting course. Reporting. It's 50-50 here on the subs for YouTube. That is true. We still got the idea related to Facebook streaming and whatnot that I'm still not entirely certain about yet. Let's get Kodo on the ground again. This is pretty easy. Yeah, the Republic's uh, supremacy is nuts. <laughs> the Venator's dying breaks your heart. Oh, hey. What is it? Think of it like this. We put their honorable legacy to rest. They were serving the wrong faction anyway. This should be a fun group. So be it. Try to keep as many infantry off the ground as possible with all the transdotions everywhere. Transdotions are very lethal. So there's no point in sacrificing infantry for it. Yeah, get back, get back, get back, get back. We didn't really bring, we didn't bring any anti-infantry tanks. Please just let me garrison troops into you. There we go. What super chats you get? Yeah, that's what. That, that's the one thing I will say about the super chat thing. I think I'll. I think I'll just wreck. I if you, if anybody's ever gonna gift any money here, I think it'd just be easier to probably just use the donate tab that I the the donate button. I think there's one now that I've got set up in the description. Cause that way, the, you know, no channel keeps it. It just goes to PayPal, which only keeps like I don't know, like like, like a five percent of it. You know what I mean? Not that it matters, I guess. Cause the thing with super chats is they go into my monthly YouTube paycheck. Which has never been a lot to begin with, but you know, if you guys feel weird about like companies taking your money, then that probably. Hey, Jesus! Welcome back, Lisa. Holy! Let's just uh, rotate around that a little bit. Let's see, how much damage does that deal to us? Oh, that deals a decent amount. Okay, pull back, pull back. Copy. Okay. Okay, 
Let's just keep moving. Let's keep moving, you. Let's just wipe these guys out. How do I talk about monetization stuff without feeling weird, man? I don't know how to do that. I feel weird anytime I try to talk about. Well, guys, if you want to give me money, here's where you can do it. I feel weird about it. I don't know if that makes me if that makes me sound fake, humble, or what, but it feels it genuinely feels weird. It's like because I know people are gonna do it and they want to do it, but I don't know how to answer like that kind of stuff. I just feel weird, like you know. But then I can't also think in the back of my head. I want to become a, I want to turn YouTube into a career, so it's like careers take money and shit, but at the same time, I don't know. Man. It just it just it's weird. Let's secure this landing zone here. I like the sound these turns make, dude. I need to hear that in more uh, units. What kind of guns does this have? What are your orders? Moving to attack. Let's go. There we go. Big white gun zombie Wait, arena five. That's a, a hell of a game title. And a or a the movie Empire. title. Let's, um, let's get everybody fixed up. If I have to go through you, then so be it. Looks like you've angered the Why does this thing have a hunt ability? <laughs> okay. Let's move on in. Let's move on out. Yo, Bullet, thank you for becoming a member. I appreciate it. That's our... Th we're, we're, three, we're three members deep, chat. Yo, dude, thank you. I appreciate it. Damn, son. Where's I gotta come up with better is? alerts. But if you guys... Alright, I, I gotta ask you guys, man. I appreciate it, dude. <laughs> if you guys know what uh, BTTV emotes are, by the way... I've enabled them on the YouTube channel. They're a free set of emotes that you use, and they're very universal. It's like all the Keck W's and all the other ones. Oh, God. Is that a bot? I got to ban that. I appreciate it, man. <laughs> Oof. Okay. I'm about to mod some people, too. Uh, put user in timeout. <laughs> Please don't crash. Cool. But yo, guys, thank you for becoming members. That's our th we we are th we are on a three street today, man. Dude, like if I wanted to be hot, horny, and everything like that, I just well, I, I'm not gonna say what I would do. But I don't need a bot telling me what to do in that regard. <laughs> <laughs> Find love in your town today. <laughs> I ain't even mad about it. Honestly, it's just funny as hell reading that. If you use the internet, find love in your town because you're probably lonely. But thanks, guys. I really appreciate the members, man. So, if you guys want to see membership perks, I mean, what would you want them to be? Or is it just enough to support? Like, I don't know what to do with that kind of stuff. It's just like when I tried to make a Patreon. I don't know what to do with a Patreon. So my schedule's so inconsistent, so it's like, I want to make up some ideas, but then I'm afraid to make up those ideas because I don't know if I'm always going to be able to consistently do them right, right? Then, it's a waste of money for the people that are doing it. So. At the end of the day, everybody likes making money from whatever career they do, but I also like being real with it at least. Like coming up with decent ideas, you know? I'm saying, man, good lord. We're gonna have uh, some very. I wonder what the future holds for AI technology in, uh, in that department, if you know what I mean. It's gonna be very interesting to see what happens. That Star Destroyer. Oh, no, they still got the Star Destroyers over there. Okay. Yeah, they're just building up anti fighter forces. This is gonna be so AIDS, dude. Constructing. Well, I appreciate that, man. If I do, if I do come up with some new ideas, you guys will see them. I appreciate it. Forward. 
Well, just the, if, if anything, I want to make it perfectly clear. I will never take anything you guys give me for, for granted. So let's just make that very clear. It's funny you mentioned Solaris. I was thinking about doing a playthrough of that on stream. Because Let's Plays? Doing Let's Plays. Oh, it, oh it's the Mass Effect main, uh, main menu music. Um, I just, I love this. I love Mass Effect. I, I've been thinking about doing a playthrough of Solaris on here. Uh, primarily because of the fact that. Why is everything cheaper here? Are we corrupted here? Uh oh. You know, crime isn't that bad. It makes stuff cheaper for me. I've been thinking about doing a playthrough of Solaris on here, because trying to do a let's play of it is pain. It, it's very hard. It, it's like, you have to, like, what I tried to do before was, like, come up with storylines for it. And it kind of worked. But then it just got inconsistent. I ran out of time to really work with things. The mods updated. Some things crashed. An unmodded playthrough. That's tough. Because I don't really mind mod I don't really mind unmodded playthroughs of Solaris for, uh, for the most part. The only problem I have with them is the ship sizes. Like, if I were to do a playthrough of Solaris, I think I would still mod it, but just make it so the ship sizes are logical. Because I hate looking at just giant dreadnoughts taking up 80% of the battlefield. It's just like how it was with Empire War. Before we, before people learn how to scale the units properly. Okay, the Hunter's just gonna keep going. I want to wait till we get this Bothan cruiser before we do another assault. But even with three space stations here, they still build kind of slow. Unless it's a different type of station than these. Nope, it's a frigate. Or it's a cruiser, rather. I just want you guys to understand the sheer volume of firepower we are about to be producing with both and assault cruisers. Squadron reporting. Oh, bullet! Is there a new model coming for the assault for the Bothan cruiser that isn't also, by the way, the um? Because I don't really like the new cruiser that got made a while ago by I don't know who it was, but it's a remake. It's what we consider the Bothan cruiser. I don't really like that model as a cruiser. It looks more like a frigate. I like the model that's in this game. I just think it needs an updated texture, or the one that's in this mod. I just think it needs a seriously updated texture. But I don't want this like overall design to change. I like this boxy look. You never get a new texture for that eventually. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That's why it's better to stream it than to play like a uh, to do like a let's play. The amount of fun you can have is different. Let's go. Chat in about thirty minutes. I am gonna have to call it a stream though. I don't know why I forgot they quickly I launched the attack. I didn't think we were gonna get there quickly. In about 30 minutes, I am gonna have to call it on the stream because me and my fiance are gonna be doing a little bit of job hunting in a little bit. Uh, might throw it back up afterwards, but we're gonna spend about an hour to do some job hunting and stuff. So, so Iron Storm, yeah, it is. Yep, but that's gonna be in about 30 minutes or so, so don't worry. Reinforcements canceled. Heading out. Fallout. Reinforcements Heading canceled. coordinates. Consider it done. Moving ahead. Reinforcements canceled. Proceeding to location. Reinforcements Yeah, same. Like, if, if YouTuber can't be my full-time thing right now, this is the goal. I ha I want to make YouTube yes, a big sir. thing. Yes, if it can't be that right now, then we're still just gonna... Oh, shit. Turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around. If it can't be the full-time thing right now, we're gonna make it... Uh, we're gonna do something in between, at least. Because Uber eating and DoorDashing ain't cutting it. <laughs> But yeah, man, share the stream, guys. Throw it in other discords. Let people know we're here, you know? Let people know we're here. Oh, they're just going to retreat. Okay. That's so fun. Post it in the discords. Let people know we're here, you know? If they've heard of Jay the Gamer, let them know. We're not always going to do Star Wars stuff, though. Like I said, I want, I'm still a bit of a variety guy. I got to keep my sanity somehow. We're always going to try to change it up a bit, but I think I'm going to keep more of the Call of Duty multiplayer stuff. Maybe to Twitch? Because I can inter it's it's a little bit easier to interact with my other fellow Twitch streamers over there with that kind of stuff. 
but um this 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 overall thing is still gonna definitely have some variety to it because i just think that's the healthy route you know let's leave this cruiser here we'll send the rest of the fleet back to kashik halo halo if i get back on the stream tonight we're gonna play halo i'm down with that i want to make it a community thing man Bullet, would you be interested in trying to coordinate like some kind of crazy fun community night with Halo in the AOTR community? Like you, me, host it, I'll stream it, and then we'll just build around it and have some fun with it, you know? Oh, they're just saying fuck you to the to the to the to the hapens. Oh wait, no, they're just taking over. You used to do Halo custom games? See, yeah, that would be a lot of fun. That would be a lot of crazy fun, I would think. Yeah, yeah, like we plan a Saturday out, do like a big community night in the ALTR Discord or something. Uh, try to bring my what, what members from my community I can over, and then we'll just have fun with it, you know. I think I'm going to skip on calling in Coda this go-round. We're calling a different set of troops. We're not going to give Coda PTSD with being on Umbara. He wasn't here, but I doubt he wants to come here. I copy. Actually, that's a lie. Coda would be down here in a heartbeat to defend his troops. Tank copy. I need to get my T4Bs. Those things are ridiculous and strong. I love this map, by the way. Just how pitch black it is. What do you see? Right, let's get this position over here. We're going to start down slow. Probably try to take out the local Umbarans. Bunker. What is it? We've We're gonna leave turrets up in local random spots. Post the entire. Wait, what's happening over here? Alright, yeah, let's get our troops down here ASAP. Let's take out that skiff. We don't have order of bombardments. Interesting, I thought the independence classes could do the uh, order of bombardments. Okay, circle back around. They have a lot of stuff down here. Giving up already? Main cannons charged. Attack tank copy. Shouldn't tank have come cover. here. Okay, let's take care of these I troops. Have to go through you, but so be it. Where the hell is Coda at? Ready to deliver. All lights are green. Alright, squad. This squad over here. The secure this landing zone. What do you see? Blasted scum! Shouldn't have come here. Let's secure this whole position. There's a sensor node over there. Ready for command. Okay, X wings just stay nimble. Just stay nimble. Avoid those A guns again. All lights are green. I want to see a mod that uses the Rogue Squadron like um HUD. Keep going. I love the way they, the the OG Rogue Squadron games look. We're definitely gonna play a lot of retro Star Wars games. Because the only reason I didn't stream a lot of retro games on Twitch is purely because it was a pain in the ass to edit them from Twitch over to YouTube because I'm gonna have to download the VODs and then try to keep track of them. But with YouTube, we can just leave the VOD up and everybody can watch them. Yo, what's up, Steiny? How you doing, man? Main cannons charged. I get, get, the, get the fuck back over here. Get the fuck back over here. Get the fuck back over here. What is it? Don't you dare go all the way over there for no reason I to get have killed. To go through. You've been so expensive. We've lost a build pad. 
Yes, Commander. Let's move out. Damn, this place is fortified, man. man. Steiny, how you doing, buddy? The Empire. Also, um, Bullet, would it be possible just to make this like one cool, like linear bridge, you know? Like make it elevated so you can only go down it. Like down the bridge and down the sides. We're gonna play a lot of fun games. We're gonna play City Skylines. We're gonna do a whole bunch of stuff over here on this uh, channel. Looks like you've angered the locals. Turret constructing. Turret constructing. Turret Stiney, have you ever tried streaming on uh, YouTube before, man? Blasted scum! Shouldn't have come here. Roger that. I think they have a turbo laser. Do they have turbo lasers? How are they shooting it over here? Over there. We're going in. Ready to deliver. Warm up. I'm tempted to try and steal that. Already? I start moving forward a little see? bit. If I have to go through you, then so be it. Preparing assault salvo. Available. Okay. Ready for command. We've secured a build. What is it? A blind man. Cody, your job is to get over here. Against the Empire. All lights are green. Waiting orders. Plotting course. Let's destroy everything we can over here. What is this? Pirate soldiers. Fire at will. Boy. Let's guard this these guys from Sarlacc. It also has a poison thing in the middle, I just realized it. That's pretty fucked up. I did, don't you shoot at the center node, asshole. Looks like you've angered the locals. Goes up, Saren. How you doing? Let's secure Umbara. Scum. Get this under control. Is it Minecraft music? It's from a game called Off World. Anybody familiar with that? Copy. Off World. <laughs> Okay. All lights are green. Targeting at maximum firepower. Attack tank copies. Okay, let's go crazy. All lights are green. I may be blind, but I'm still connected to support. Moving into attack position. Support exit five. Attack tank copies. Let's get you out of here. Giving up already? Ready for command. What do you see? All lights agree. Attack copies. Let's deal with these guys. They're actually dealing some damage. And now this is Halo music. All lights agree. What is this? Ooh, Sarlacc, so like, Sarlacc, so like, avoid that. We gotta play the Halo mod too. There's a new Halo mod for Empire War. We might check that out. Um, I might be able to throw a quick skirmish game onto that actually. Just to see what it looks like. Actually, I gotta make sure there's no updates for it first. <laughs> this has been a fun night, man. Shout out to all the new members on the channel, the YouTube members. Um, so yeah, a lot of people wanted me to move to YouTube or Facebook because Twitch is doing some really crazy shit, you know, with all the really explicit and sort of weird sexual content on the platform. No, I really don't care what people do with their own lives, but it is kind of crazy how that platform is letting a lot of weird shit get away, get, you know, be gotten away with. And then they're taking a lot of money from their, their creators too, so, you know. So with YouTube, everything is a little more creator favored. Copyright is still a bit of an issue, but for the most part, it's nothing too bad to Twitch right now. And plus, again, 3,000 subscribers on the YouTube channel, so like, <laughs> it's starting to make a little bit more sense. What's crazy though is 80% of the people who legitimately watch like the Star Wars videos, 
Uh, I don't got the shorts because those are, you know, that's a little bit more RNG. But 80% of the people who watch like the, like the Star Wars content, they're actually not sub to the channel. I don't know how the fuck they get the videos. I only post them in so many places. But it is kind of interesting seeing that statistic sometimes. Um... See, change up the songs really quick. This fleet moved. Squadron, move out. Reporting. Construction complete. Right away. Yeah. Yep. A lot of the uh, a lot of the big Warzone YouTubers left Twitch. Which is kind of bonkers because bonkers. It's not like such an old fucking man. <laughs> uh, um, but it was kind of crazy though. A lot of the, the big time Warzone YouTubers and streamers actually left Twitch. There's only a few like of the major ones left. There's still Nick Merckx. Um, there's still Nick Merckx. There's still uh, uh, what's his name? Symphony. There's still a few of the big ones over there. Constructing. Building canceled. But for the most part, a lot of them have left. Enlisting. Honestly, if the Wookiees gave me the option to enslave. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. We don't want to build these guys. We want to build the Wookiee war parties. Training soldiers. Beginning construction. Building start. Let's see. I want to try out this Bothan frigate or cruiser. Construction complete. I don't know what the speed of it is. I don't know what There's hyperspace speed is going to be like, but we'll see in a minute. Moving into position. I think we're maxed on tech, too, by the way. Yeah. What's happening down here? Construction complete. Imperials Assault are doing their here. thing. Complete. We got another Bothan frigate over here. We might just test it with right this one then. Well, it is already over here. We could hit Nimbon. Like, let's scout Nimbon, because if it's going to be a bit of a so. long battle, we might. Yes, Construction General. complete. <sighs> yeah, I don't want to die way. just yet. We, we might need to hit this planet, though. Hmm. We got the Rona frigates over here. Moving to destination. Building under construction. I gotta be ready for these guys to make the move. They've got three star destroyers now. Yeah, we're gonna need to. We, we might have to move this fleet back from the south and put it up north a little bit here to deal with the Imperial forces in the corporate sector. Because uh, then once we take care of that, we'll be able to move on to bigger and better things. But for the time being, I don't think it's really worth it right now. Keep them down here. We're not really secure that much territory. And again, these factions can't move, so... What's the point? Yeah, they've, they've gotten greedy. They just don't care. I'll give, I'll give Twitch credit for one thing. They can at least... They basically admit they just don't give a fuck. Well, this is not very Mustafar. This is a little too snowy. This actually generally might be the Hoth map. Wait a minute. Setting course. Choose your reinforcements. Heading out. Order acknowledged. Confirm. Moving out. Moving to coordinates. Moving out. Reinforcements canceled. Fall out. Reinforcements en route. Reinforcements en route. Reinforcements en route. On my way. Right away. That's what, 14? Let's yeah, move we'll out. Do this. Naval squadron. Ready for order. 
Okay. It's actually gonna baffle to me how many of the YouTubers that do play Empire War see that do not use like any of the micro hotkeys, like groupings and all that. I can't play the game just doing this click, this click, you know, like that's just so weird to me. There she is, the Bothan Cruiser though. Yeah, I want, I, if, if you guys do update this model, man, I hope you keep this version, like this, this like this design and just upgrade the texture. Cause I think the design is incredible, honestly. Okay, Bucko, slow the fuck down. Yeah, it looks iconic. And there's actually a semi source for this design, too, which is kind of funny to me. There's a bit of a source for this design, too, which is funny. Sitting the fighters, it might not have been the best to do here. Okay, this is turning into a shit show really quick. Let's go. Your command's ready. Commander. Reporting in. Reporting in. Let's these Corvettes. Damn, we lost the other CR-90. Fighters and squadrons, just stay back here and just defend. Let's move forward a little bit, but yeah, I like the thought of keeping that one. It just looks so cool, at least to me, it just looks awesome. Is that most of far over there? I guess it actually is, because now if I think back to episode 3, that shot of uh, Anakin's starfighter flying in, it kind of looks like he flies past another planet. I gotta say, the engine textures are so incredible, dude. Look at that. Oh, they have particle effects, rather. I forget, is there a new model of the Assault Freaking Mark 1 coming? Or am I having a. Um, what, what's that one yes, thing man. called? Um, the Mandela effect. I feel like I've seen. Like, I feel like I've seen um, statements of, that, of a new version coming. Big old giant fish ships. Fire. Boy, I tell you Standing what. Ready for orders. It's as good as gone. Look at this monstrosity. The MC60 is such a good ship. Look at that hangar design. All right, yo, yo, can we get some models of like? It, it, it would be so minuscule, but with the amount of texture in that hangar bay. I would love it if there could be like just parts or some shit sitting around in there. You know, fighters that aren't moving. I'm making a lot of requests, I'm sorry. <laughs> it isn't my mod, I don't, I don't mean to make so many damn requests. But the amount of detail just excites me all the time. Look at that shit, man. Victory is ours. Oh, man, oh, man. Two CR-90s and an A-Wing squadron all lost for no reason. Because I got cocky. Constructing unit. Unit in production. Let's get more in production. 
Yeah, let's tax the shit out of Iria, dude. Let's tax this. Uh... We didn't build the Celestial like uh, teams. We gotta build those. Let's finish up our operations over here at Anawet or Mustafar. Then uh, we'll call. It. We'll probably stop there. I probably should put an eye cannon on this planet when I think about it. Gotta really keep our eyes on the Empire right now. They just captured a bunch of different worlds. They're gonna have a lot of uh, wiggle room with their forces. Now, how to. Not a very heavily defended planet, is it? Didn't this planet use that bonuses or am I missing something? Yeah, this used to have planetary bonuses, I'm pretty certain. Big old giant fish ships. At your command. The day I'm able to go full time with YouTube though will be just one of the best days of my life. Just knowing that I can comfortably get on here, stream, then get off, edit videos, and not have to worry about anything externally. I don't really need to do anything outside of that. It would make me so motivated, man. Let's go. Keep going. I think that's what a lot of people forget, though, when it comes to content creators, or just YouTubers in general. At least people that are... There are YouTubers out there that aren't passionate about it, which is fair. But for the ones like us that are, you know, it's just like... I know for a fact that I wouldn't lose focus on what I'm doing. I would make more because of the fact that... I'm even gonna live off of it. Let's go. You know? Some people lose sight of the vision, but I don't think I will. And if I do, you guys will literally shit on me about Hang it, out, so. Sir. You know? Form up. Awaiting orders. Squadron, move out. Fire at will. Down with the Mustafarian Empire. You guys would absolutely roast me if I changed up too much. Accelerating to attack speed. I'm going in. The enemy is approaching. My scope's positive. You become a meme if that happens. <laughs> Accelerating to attack speed. That's why I always state my intentions early, man. Like when I say I might start trying some other games, I try to make it known early. So if it does happen, nobody can say Jay is a different person now. No, Jay the game is the same. He just, you know, wants to try different video games after years and years and years. These minigun skips are no joke. Let's see. That is a lot of stuff, man. Okay, let's get some heavy artillery down here now. Roger. These damn minigun skips are brutal. We're gonna move our troops out. Torpedo launcher is online. I copy. Let's secure this position. Let's move this in position right here. Okay, pull back, pull back. I'm down there, bucko. They still got plenty of AA turrets all over the place. Turn you around. Activate this. Anti-vehicle turret is up. Take this proton torpedo launcher turret. Construction complete. Ready. I don't have all day, son. What is it? Squadron reporting. Ready to deliver. All torpedoes oh, ready, sir. Ready for command, sir. Remit our contact. Okay. Rolling into patrol. K-wing reporting. We'll get K-wings in Val. 
I do like how a lot of mods have been Water doing bombers having attack. different payloads now, too. Like, look at this. The k just absurd. I've got my approach vector. Man, your wish is my okay, I saw, I saw torpedoes heading for one of these guys. Wow, they even launched, like, proton torpedoes, too. That's nuts. That did actually nothing, though. Let's pull back. Can you hit this? Okay. 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 Okay, this should cover our rear pretty nicely. Okay. Let's do a quick sweep over here. I will say going into November though, chat, there's going to be a decent amount of stuff focused on the new uh, Modern Warfare because I really want to make a lot of content on that, so there might be a good amount of streaming on Twitch for that if I don't do it here. We'll see. I'm very excited to do some more stuff with that because we're kind of bored. <laughs> Almost down. There we go. They're decimating our starfighter forces. Okay. Yeah, we're not gonna. We're not gonna. We're not gonna move. We're not gonna send any more fighters in. Noted. That's a question I've always had. How do you use a TTV effectively? Ready for command, sir. Ready for command. I do think artillery can use a range buff, bro. Can it be real? It's the same as that might sound. I wouldn't mind if they got a bit of a buff. I feel like they have to get a little too close to be an effective artillery unit. Okay, let's find any survivors. That's it for that. Moving forward, though, we are going to be indeed moving um, the bulk of the Republic fleet down here in the south back up north a bit. They're going to have a bit of a long journey to get to Korriban, but we're going to need to move them up there if we want to have a chance of dealing with the Empire appropriately. Um, I more bought the cruisers in production. By more, I mean just one. That's okay. We're gonna need this fleet up here to do a little bit of damage control with how many Imperial ships are gonna be over here pretty soon. Just all too concerned about the Empire. The Imperials are chasing the HUDs down, actually. Okay, they're leaving forces behind. All right, we're gonna save here. Um, when we get back in, we're gonna just hit Nimbon right off the rip. We're gonna save here for the night, lads.
Thank you, dude. We're only gonna be doing it for probably about an hour, and then we're gonna we might throw the stream back back on. I don't want to stay up too late tonight. I've done that too many times in a row now, you know. But again, I'm enjoying the YouTube streams. Seriously, man. Oh, that's the wrong camera. Actually, do we like this alternative camera angle? It's a little less bright though. Do we like this for the uh, like little just, just chatting segment? I gotta get a new chair, dude. <laughs> but I feel like this is a, this is a really neat, uh, neat angle. I've used it before. It's good. Okay. Honestly, transitioning to YouTube was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. A lot of the programs and stuff that I use, like Stream Elements, Stream Labs. They um, they just intrinsically did did all the work for you, made it a lot easier. But we're definitely gonna have to stream on Twitch a little bit again because, like I said, twenty five subs up there. I don't want to just leave that hanging. Um, the Twitch is probably where I'm gonna finish my Fallout Three playthrough. So if you guys haven't already, still follow the Twitch channel if you're interested. I'm still gonna do some things over there, you know. I think YouTube will be like where the typical comic concert is. Just gotta get more subs on the channel, man. 3K is phenomenal, but we gotta keep going. Gotta keep it going. Keep growing. I'm just waiting for the game to save before I call it a night. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's exit out of this. Um, I don't know how many views we got today. Unless I didn't even check. 71. Good Lord, man. I highly doubt this video, this stream will be monetizable either, which doesn't really matter. But Twitch is very picky about you playing certain types of music, so I got to be careful. Got to be very, very careful. But all right, lads, we are going to stop here for the evening. Probably we'll hop back on later. Um, don't know if we're going to play Empire War now. We probably will. We'll see. But uh, thanks for watching. And thank you for all the new members and stuff today, guys. I really do appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. And um, yeah, man, we're going to uh, we're gonna get out of here. But like I said, we might be back later tonight. So stay tuned if you're awake right now. If you're trying to stay up, it's a weekend. We're going into the weekend. So, you know, this should be pretty fun. But I'll see you guys in a little bit probably. And uh, thanks for watching.